<laughs> Hi guys, we're back. Hey. It's time for mini painting. Nice. Uh, so we didn't really give you a chance to talk about yourself or what you do or anything, so uh, now, now it's your chance. Awesome. Well, I'm Brian Merlonghi, and um, I don't know, maybe some of you have seen me on Geek and Sundry's Painters Guild. Um, that is where I show Will Friedle, uh he was the older brother from Boy Meets World, uh, how to paint miniatures. That's who <laughs> yeah. That's I was like, I know this face. That is, yeah, he was like the, the was cool cat in school, and yeah, and he is a fantastic human. Will, if you ever see this, I love teaching you how to paint. You still suck. <laughs> but there's always tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you guys wow. for staring. Thank you guys. For thank, you guys. Yeah. thank you for staring at empty chairs yeah. for like an hour. An art shirt. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Listen to my horrible jokes. No, it was really good. And I think I was texting one of my fans <laughs> who saw me texting him and it got weird. He was like, I'm watching you text me right now. <laughs> and this is for Chris. Chris out there. Hey, Chris. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I'm Brian. Um, I've been painting since I was about 10 and I was absolutely terrible. Uh, really bad. I mean, like, like my mom is a saint because she said it looked beautiful and Aww. I should end up in Hollywood and I didn't believe her. Wow. Here I am. Um, <laughs> zombie and, bacon. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sing. What? Zombie Bacon Burner's apologizing for being so mean to Cutthroat Kingdom. <laughs> no! Oh my god. Zombie Bacon Burner, you are amazing. Awesome. And please do not apologize. You are awesome. You made the game a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, so I started painting a while ago, um, and then I, you know, I, I forget where I found my stride, but I got really good. I started to win worldwide awards, and um, I started my own studio. I've been doing that professionally for a while, and then I'm on Geek and Sundry's Painters Guild, and that's been really fun. I actually got a chance to um, to be on set with Kira from Star Trek: Deep Space Nine. She's a saint. I that was a dream come true, and uh, and it was just incredible. Yeah. So so now I'm here. Perception Studios has been amazing uh, to to welcome me, and uh, we're going to paint orcs. Yeah. Oh dear. And I'm really really excited. And uh, I'm going to teach. So there's different levels of teaching. Um, I would say this is basic beginner. Like if you're if you're watching and you have never painted a mini in your life, this is for you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you guys. I'm so excited myself. Yeah. You're or excited. Oh Sorry. my god. That's yeah. And it begins. And it's bumps. <laughs> yeah. So, so you know how, speaking of beginner, you know how you watch those uh, like those 80s workout tapes? Yeah, yeah, And yeah. there's like the advanced guy. And they're training. In the middle, and intermediate guy. I'm the person in the back that's just taking one step. <laughs> they're doing jumping jacks, I'm just stepping to the side. That's me. <laughs> So uh, awesome. bear with me. Dan is actually really good. Huh? At what? No pressure. No, I'm not. I'm bad. I've been I've been sitting on these for a while. I built <laughs> Wait, these guys. Wait, well, you've been sitting on them? Like literally? I'm, I'm hoping they get warm and catch them. I want new. Like they new miniature for me, please. <laughs> oh, it's just can also, I get a new. One? I was like stalking your Instagram the other day, <laughs> and yeah. I was looking at your like infinitesimally oh, like yes. small armies. Like check it out. They're like. Little like little like squads like individual things on a little field and they're beautifully done. It's yeah. ridiculous. Like I don't even know. So the the my one claim to fame is I will go to areas that most miniature painters don't go. I go into the micro scale rabbit wow. hole, and so um, this new s uh, scene that I'm doing is one millimeter in scale. Uh, the, the, the 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 figures are actually <laughs> about the so They're actually smaller than an actual ant. Wow. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're. they're, they're in fact, I photograph them next to an ant, and the ant is bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so he's surgical. Yeah. Surgical. Yeah, with this. I use surgical tools. Believe oh it or not, my God. it's crazy. Yeah, you need a hobby from your hobby. <laughs> I, I really do. I really do. The Da Vinci machine. These like, guys, you know, honestly, <laughs> these minis. Like, obviously, I pick the smallest one because I'm psycho. But these are huge to me. So in 50 yeah. years, you'll be the man from Toy Story, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I'm from um, what's that? Uh, not um, uh, what's his name? And now I'm gonna pant your pants. Blue, um, gr not Grandma's boy. Um, God, oh, the forty-year-old virgin. Oh, okay. I am the forty-year-old virgin. <laughs> My brain went to Kung Pao. Kung Pao. <laughs> I am a great magician. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that too. Uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, but yeah. And um, before we start, um, I just wanted to do a shout out. So um, Army Painter has been really awesome, and they sent me. Oh, nice. Uh, this is brand new. This is actually I haven't even opened this. This just hit stores. 
Um, this is D and, a D and D set of paints that we're actually going to be using. Oh, so this is good. all you need to start, plus like two D and D minis. This guy's name's Boo. <laughs> Painted Ooh. Minsk and Boo miniature. So <laughs> they're in here, and then we're gonna we got some brushes. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm excited. This is the paint we're gonna use, so I'm, I'm gonna, really gonna as well. tear this bad boy open for the first time. Oh, it's yeah. covered in like meat Sh grease, shrink wrap, shrink wrap. Oh, the and magical meat and meat grease. <laughs> <laughs> There's some kind of meat grease on here, which is good. And the cool thing about the the Nolzer set is they come uh, pre-primed. Right, so you they can do. just jump in and paint them, which is cool. Yeah, priming is is a really annoying, especially if you had parents like me who wouldn't let me go anywhere near aerosol <laughs> spray cans. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably when I used to live in the alley behind my house, <laughs> and I had a lot of friends from this in the sewer. What was what was the first mini you painted where you were like, oh okay, like now I'm good at this? Okay. What was what was your transition? So mini? oh my god, that that is a really good question. So for a while I struggled, and then I got a Tyranid. It was a it was a Tyranid Hormigon. They're murder bugs. They are murder Hormigon. bugs. Yeah. yeah, they are they are nasty murder bugs. But I Thank got you for the it. Follow guys. Yeah, uh, I got it, and I I finally got the 3D contrast right. So it kind of sort of looked like um, on in the Citadel magazines, oh, like cool. the the Warhammer. Um, what are they called? White Dwarf. Yes. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, and I, that was it. That was the moment I was like. I can do contrast. It looks 3D. I'm in. Sweet. And and that was it. But uh, oh my god, what? This so is so cool. You need to make these look 3D, even though they're already 3D. They're already 3D. We're gonna make so them 3D or they're 4D. Yeah, exactly. So in space and time. Yeah. That's exactly right. Oh my god. Um, so this look at these little amazing. bottles. They're adorable. Oh, oh my god. So look at this cute little bottle. Oh, this is like the first time I'm seeing this. So these are adorable because their normal bottles are like double the size. You so, so that is adorable. Look, here's my mini next to my little guy. That's that is freaking adorable. Here, wait, put one of your orcs. Right. It works Ryan, just as change tall. the camera. So, that's scene is not so this is amazing. Oh, okay. Oh, it's so like a delay. The right stuff? Uh, oh, we're in These ah. are adorable. Oh my god, they're mini mini bottles. <laughs> mini mini paint bottles. <laughs> that's mini awesome. Bro. So we're gonna be using um, mithril silver. So Yay. any kind of like a gun metal. <laughs> Uh, we're we're going to be more than half the Shire. <laughs> we're, yeah, exactly. And we're going to be using um, Triant Green for our skin. We're going to use brown. What's this brown? What's this? Bugbear Brown. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to probably use black and white. Let's see their names for these Abyssal Black nice. and Lawful White. Nice. nice. <laughs> And I think that's probably it. I want to know the rest of the names, though, because I'm going to... Yeah, I kind of do, too. I What do we got? Dragonfire. Red. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Natural, natural. And then Gray Primer. Oh, that's good. Oh. 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 <laughs> missed she, she, opportunity. Oh, however, this is cool. So, um... She did, like, true neutral. For, yeah, <laughs> true neutral. Oh, Lovely you're right. Great. Um, but anyway, so my mom legitimately, like, she forbid me from surfing and forbid me from spray primers. Um, <laughs> and now that's all you do. Neither <laughs> of them are related, but those are the two forbidden things. Like, drugs, okay, but <laughs> primer and surfing, no. No surfing. Um, so this is gray primer, this is paint on primer. So when oh, cool. you get your minis, yeah, you can prime them without even having to, that, that's really cool. That is really cool. Um, so that's cool. Um, and then I've got, uh, what else? Angelic yellow. Because the <laughs> angels are yellow? I guess. I guess so. It's not what I imagined, but I'll take it. <laughs> Seems to... And then Kraken Blue. I'm a big fan That's of Kraken. Cool. That's cool. That and Flumph Pink. Yes! Yes! yes. Flumph Points! Pink. Points, points, points. <laughs> that that fixes That's yellow actually, and... Uh, yeah, no. I, I'm digging well done. that. Well done. Flumph. Flumphs are the best. Look them up. Flum I don't even know what a flump is. A flump, right. it's, it looks kind of like a, it's like a beholder mixed with the flying spaghetti monster, but it's super no. cute. It's got like lashes, and it's like what? it's a good creature. It's super cute. Oh I'm gonna pull my it up, god, it's freaking adorable. That I gotta see. And it comes with a mini that's actually super high detail. This is wow. amazing. Yeah. So this is a Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> this mini. is a flump. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Cool. Yeah. They're adorable. That's a flump, guys. <laughs> you can't see that, but it's a flump. No, oh, that's it's like so a mini cool. Boy. You can point at all the cameras, just in case. <laughs> Those are really cool. Uh, you spell it uh, F L U U A uh, M P H. Yes. This has, this has one U. That one has one U. Yeah. 
But whatever. It, it's, Did they it's, misspell their own IP? They must have. <laughs> so, and it, it comes with a mini and it comes with a, a paintbrush. How do you spell D&D? How do you spell d and It's, yeah, I don't know. That's a tough, that's, oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so anyway, so that's what we got in the kit. Those are the paints we're going to be using. Yeah. Now the additional paints that we're going to be using, so these are all going to be base coating highlight coats. Um, the other really, really important thing when you're starting out is a wash. Cool. And so we've got two different green washes. We've oh. got Citadel, and for my washes I like Games Workshop. Mm. Um, but the other ones are good too. But uh, this is Biotan Green and Anthonian Camo Shade, both green. Uh, and then for the final basing stage, we're gonna do Sterling Mud, which we're just gonna put mud everywhere, basically. Yeah, that's my like, contribution. I should just, I should just paint my dude in mud. <laughs> in fact, my nickname is Brownwash. I don't. Oh, nice. that's my yeah, my mas my that's painting awesome. mentor who taught me how to paint. He, that's my nickname. So. Brownwash. Good old Brownwash. That's me. I hope I end today with a with a painting nickname. I that's will have to goal. give you both, depending yeah. on how you do. You're getting yeah. it. I'm gonna be a neutral. You're, yeah. You, you good old garbage paint, Danny. Neutral mud. Uh, you, you, maybe flump <laughs> pink is, is going to be just with one U. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, with, with one whoa. U. Whoa. Whoa. Michi yeah. just said uh, we just hit 1,700 followers today. What? Pew, pew, pew. That's Yay. crazy. That's exciting. I shouldn't raise my hands because they go yeah, away. That, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounded like a cat. We need like an air horn sound. <laughs> we keep yeah. making the sound ourselves. Hi, Esmeralda Wild Fury. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Uh, cool. That's All right. Awesome. So uh, let's, let's do it. You want to get started? Let's do it. Are you guys All right. Show off what minis you're actually oh yeah, yeah sure. I should probably sure. do that. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna jam mine in a lens. You ready? Well, that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just do that. We're all just gonna shake our heads. And... Right. This is my guy. I think he's a knob because he looks big. He's, right? a, knob. he's a knob. 100. So percent He's got claw yep. and a shooter. And I like this guy. I picked this guy because uh, when I assembled him, I, all I was thinking was Punisher. Because he's got um, he's got a little little metal mask on, he's got a little skull uh, thing on his on his belt thing. He is the or shoulder piece. Orcasher. <laughs> yeah, the Orcasher. Yeah. The uh, Frankoloshka Kaskul. That's exactly That's what that is his. Yeah. Anyway, so he's cute. I was gonna pick another one that had like a whole bunch of bullets flying off, and then I was like, "That's too hard," so I put it away. <laughs> yeah, you, ju you jump right into the deep end. You had to just boom right into the bullets flying. Yeah. Uh, mine. Okay, so I like really small things, but am I? I'm going into this camera, I guess. Um, so this is actually not an orc. This is a grot. Um, this is so the interesting story. Let me let me pull it back so you get focal distance. Um, so the interesting thing about Grots are they are the runts of the breed. So like any orc that comes out like not an orc, kind of like not so good, hmm. that's this guy. Aww. And they get kicked around, he's Aww. holding a grenade, and they're, they usually like carry ammo and hide in people's boots. And <laughs> you know, in real life I also hide in people's boots. <laughs> so, it fits. So that's what I got. Uh, you guys have to tell me more about this one, but Okay. Okay. You, no, you create the story. So this, so this is a guy who can't figure out if he wants to uh, have a gun or a blade. He's like, I'm going <laughs> to shoot you or I'm going to stab you, one or the other. <laughs> so uh, he's kinda, he like, a picture of old school and new school, kind of like myself. Uh, yeah. So yeah, he's a little confused. Uh, do we, are, do we get to name them after we, uh... Uh, yes, we definitely Absolutely. need to name them. Oh, so right. We'll make it canon. So we'll figure it out. But yeah, this is this little guy right here. He's, uh, yeah. cool. Very Zombie cool. Bacon Burner has a question, uh, yes. asking, do you start with primers every time? Yeah, so, um, we'll get there, but 100%, yeah, yes. Never not prime your minis. Um, it's... Uh, priming your minis is, will be the best thing you've ever done, because the, it's like teeth to hold the paint on. Uh, however, some minis will come pre-primed, um, for instance, this army painter figure, this is pre-primed. I still would have primed it. Yeah? Honestly, I, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I prime everything. And you can use any primer. You can use, you can go into, um, freaking um, Home Depot or any, um, depart, um, what do you call it, hardware store and get any kind of $9 primer, $6 primer. That will work. Just hold it a little far away. Um, if you want to get technical, you get you know the Citadel, the Games Workshop primers. Mm -hmm. uh, Army Painter makes primers. Um, but yes, 100% prime, prime every time. Prime every time. Prime every time. Anyway, so uh, so these are pre-primed. Um, we've got it's primed with a white. Just basic kind of white gray. Yeah, primer. it was a Krylon matte gray something. 
Yeah. So Krylon is a brand that you'd find in a... Um, Not in a game shop. It would be in like a hardware store or a Home Depot yeah. or whatever. Amazon for me, because I don't like going places or doing things. Amazon. <laughs> I'm a bit of a shut-in myself. <laughs> I'll buy my Prime on it with Amazon Prime. Speaking of, yes. mine is a little, like a mean like tilt. I'm scared I'm going to knock it over. Should I? Oh, yeah. awesome question. Yeah. Okay, cool. So um, here's another thing. Um, I Back in the day, I was having a lot of trouble holding my mini. And then I was also teaching classes, and so I was teaching a bunch of really young kids, like, you know, four to five-year-olds all the way up to eight, and they had a lot of hand, you know, control issues. So um, I, one day I I discovered neuro energy drinks or whatever. I just, just <laughs> I was drinking them, and I'm like, whoa, this top is perfect, and it's got little thumb grooves, and it it's perfect for a mini. So um, yeah, every single mini that I paint to help you guys out, mm -hmm. um, especially if you're a beginner. Put on something. Um, okay. You can use a pill bottle. You can use, um, you know, a cork, a wine cork, um, anything. <laughs> I use these. Time, Neuro uh, sponsored me uh, cool. at one point, and 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 so I just use these. Um, it's really so, a perfect fit, though. That's, that's awesome. Very cool. Isn't it? Cr it's yeah. exactly the same size hey. as a GW base. Thank oh, you for yeah. the follow, uh, Blind Weeble. Nice. Blind Weeble, uh, he's following up uh, with a question. So Cryolon are adequate primers. Um, they are, yeah. When you're, especially when you're starting out, Krylon's totally fine. Um, eventually, when you get more, you know, high level, you might want like Tamea. Tamea makes a really, really, really good primer, a very fine primer. Um, but Krylon's fine. It, it's just my word of caution is if you're going to use um, hardware store bought primers, hold it a little further away than you would yeah. another primer because it comes on really thick. Those primers are meant for, um, you know, furniture and stuff like that. Yeah, and so. I didn't get full coverage. I don't think on my guys. No. I got I got very <laughs> timid with it because I yeah. I glopped my my Star Wars Legion figures, so I was too I was too afraid to actually do the job on these. Yeah, so so you're saving yourself a lot of money by buying hardware store bought primer. However, the room for error is larger because the you may it comes on really thick. So um, you know I've destroyed a couple of minis that way. Uh, so if you're not comfortable with with the distance or kind of getting that right, go into a game store, buy Army Painter, Games Workshop, um, almost every company. I, um, Privateer Press now makes them a War Machine brand. Um, you can buy the store bought, or or if you're in master level, you definitely want Tamea. Okay. Um, so yeah. So anyway, to put the mini on the top, which is your first step after priming, um, okay. I get blue tack, which is basically like if you're a college kid and you put up like your black light poster of a mushroom or something. Yeah, yeah. That's what you use. Oh, cool. Um, I stick it to my top, and then I stick my mini onto the bl blue tack, and Perfect. it is now earthquake proof. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So you guys can go ahead and sure. pick a top, get some blue tack. Oh, Ooh, I got the one with the gradient. I'll take it. Yeah, uh, this has some just, <laughs> You just stuck Jason it right says on top my, of it. My but painter wait. name is the Glop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which is worse, brown wash or the Glop. <laughs> I like the Glop. It fits you. It's true. Yeah. It's very true. It's good. Pass me That's the. Very good. What's it called again? Uh, blue tech. Blue tech. Yeah. And if it's green, it would be green tech. I think. Yeah, I've heard most people mention the green. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, I'm gonna jump in the camera so that yeah. I'm talking. So no problem. Just paint where you're comfortable, okay. and I'll fix the cameras. Okay, okay. no problem. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll fix them. Yeah, focal distance will be tough. Um, but oh, that yeah, just smash it right on there. Um, they're talking about yep. some of the uh, winter depths back to Kickstarter, like painting grip handle, and they're talking about Citadel's now selling some for ten bucks. But hey, this is what two fifty. Maybe yeah, and you get a drink out of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, um, the Citadel. So if you're really into um, Games Workshop, uh, honestly, the Citadel um, mini holder is really good because it expands and then it snaps. When you put your figure in, it snaps to it. Oh, that's and cool. And it's perfectly made for their faces. Face. Yeah. That's cool. Um, this is just a cheaper, more versatile option because like it. it's, it's $2. It's, you know... I have probably three coats of primer on this, if not four. I just, <laughs> I'll typically, another thing with priming is you can prime rate right when they're on the thing, mm. um, and I do it that way. That's how I do it, just nice. so I, my hand doesn't get coated. I tried um, to like assembly line, I just tacked them all down to a piece of cardboard, held it down, I was like, Gah! Yeah, that's another way to do it. <laughs> no, that's, that's fine. Um, but yeah, so now they're on, and they're primed, they're ready. 
Um, the very first thing I do is a base coat. So um, base coat is basically we just decide what colors go where. Um, okay. And so my guy's mostly green. I've got a little leather. Um, your skin's probably going to be green. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you guys have any other colors that you think orcs should be, let me know. <laughs> I'll paint my orc, you know, whatever. <laughs> but um, I, we're probably going to stick with green for now. I know there's some red orcs, like on, like a, like a, like a Martian planet or something. But we're going to do green orcs. Oh wow, that looks great. Medium. Yeah, that's really good. Um, so anyway, yeah, so we pick our colors. Um, we're going to start with the skin since it's mostly our okay. figure. Um, and we're going to shake the paint. So when you first get paints or when you're first starting to use the, your paints for the day, uh, shake them. Sh I mean shake them really good. And don't give yourself like a, like a whiplash. Because <laughs> that's what happened to me and I'm now a professional mini painter. Because <laughs> I got brain damage from shaking what? paint. No, not really. <laughs> no, not really. I'm good. It's just like the dog. It's just like the dead dog from last episode. Exactly. Uh, so you just take a little bit. So the other thing you might want is a palette. You can honestly, you don't. So there's really nice porcelain palettes on Amazon. They are shaped kind of like a like a flower. Mm -hmm. I use those at home because they're reusable. But you can get anything plastic. Uh, you just any any surface it needs to be non-porous, right? So otherwise the paint will seep in. So we've got these really cool little pie, miniature yeah. pie tins. I found these in my grandpa's garage when we were cleaning out the place. So I yeah. took them in a bunch of brushes and stuff. So, so we cool. just put our paint in the, you know, I'll give a healthy amount of paint. All right. I'll pass that down. Bloop. And then, yeah, just give yourself a bunch. It's good paint. That's the paint. <laughs> that is paint. That's a healthy amount right there. Perfect. Yep, solid. And then I usually always cap it because uh, paint dries pretty quick, and you don't want to you don't want to get it clogged. So now we're ready. So now um, for for brushes, it's very important to kind of match your brush with the technique that you're doing. So um, base coating, I usually use a pointed brush that's got a little bit of beef to it. Um, so you're gonna probably want that one, and I promise you it'll be a point if you put some water on it. Okay. Um, so go ahead and dip your brush. Loosen that up. would be your base coat brush, yeah. Dip, dip. Um, and see how it kind of forms a point? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Um, so what we'll do is just get the water. I is Usually I get the water on my brush first just to kind of, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's weird, just to warm it up, I guess. <laughs> perfect. Make, uh, the other thing is, if it's not at a point, you can kind of like mm. twirl it on the edge of your cup just to get... Um, kind of form it into a point. Mm -hmm. okay. Yours is just an old brush. Yours okay. is an old brush. It's going to be... I'll, I'll blame it on that. Blame I... it on the brush. <laughs> yes. Uh, and all we're really doing for base coat is we're taking our paint mm -hmm. and we're going to apply it to anywhere there's skin. Okay. And the important part is, um, so I'm applying it here and I'm just, I'm literally just covering the area. Uh, now the most important thing with your base coat is you want it thick enough to cover Mm -hmm. You do not want it too thick where it's now obscuring detail. Okay. So that is really your most important factor. And water is a natural flow improver. So if you're feeling like the paint's starting to dry, or you want it to flow into cracks, add just a tick of water. Just like one little tick of water, and it just automatically improves that flow. Nice. Yeah. And I think a mistake that I just now realized that I was making when I was trying to paint at home and stuff was yeah. I tend to put paint all over the brush instead of, you know, yeah. the point. You Okay, so here's another really big rule of thumb. You never want to get paint, you try to keep it on the brush, and you never want to get water or paint uh, above the ferrule. So the, this metal piece is called okay. the ferrule, mm. um, and that holds the bristles. And if you're dunking it in the water and it, the water comes above that line, it will eventually ruin your brush. So be very mindful. And then you definitely want paint just on the tip. You really want paint on the tip. You're doing great. Thank Both you. of you guys. No, you're doing it with that brush. You're doing amazing. And once I'm done base coating with this brush, I'll give this brush to you so you maybe get a chance to... This is that brand new Dungeons & Dragons starter brush, so... Um, um, so my, I'm my, my tip is don't drink too much coffee before you start painting. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. But you're doing a great job. Oh, the other thing, um, if it helps, is bracing. 
So you're already kind of using, you already naturally did it. So bracing is whenever you're trying to, um, yeah, exactly, that's bracing, yeah. Wow. So uh, bracing is, um, like right now, I'm using this finger, kind of my 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 uh, my pointer. Is that a pointer finger? What finger is that? Bracing. Ring finger. Is that a ring finger? Yep. Okay. So I'm touching my top with my ring finger, and then going in with the paint. And sometimes I'll use my pinky too. That's called bracing, and that will increase your hand stability by a hundred percent. I mean, it's it's night and day. You don't want to go in and paint like from a like a distance without bracing. So show me. Okay, I'm holding this very far away since you're also putting it closer. To yeah, it you want, and yeah, and this this sort of like, yeah. like that's a really good place to be. Gotcha. Oh, and then connect with, what's up? Uh, Fiber Follow Power has a question. How much do these figurines cost? Uh, Warhammer's a little on the expensive side, but you can get minis of uh, like varying price points, like Reapers are pretty cheap. Um, Nolzers are more affordable than I expected, actually, considering they're like an official wizard product. And then there's... Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like the War uh, Warhammer set, mostly because they're pretty complicated and they come with like a lot of pieces and stuff like that. They're a little more expensive. Yeah. Um, these were gifted to us, so thanks, guys. Uh, Reapers, Reaper Bones. So the the brand is Reaper and their line is Bones. Uh, they're anywhere between one ninety nine, a dollar ninety nine, all the way up to maybe like nine ninety nine. They're really cheap. Um, they're really good. Um, and then you're right. The the um, Wizards of the Coast D and D branded stuff. They're a little higher quality than the Bones, and they're also pretty affordable. Yeah. Um, but Bones is really like the man. They're they're amazing. If you're just starting out, they're like literally like two dollars. Um, and there's like a wide selection. If you go into any game oh, store, absolutely. it's just like there's just shelves and shelves and shelves. So if there's any particular like fantasy critter you're looking for, you'll find it. Oh yeah. Yeah, fantasy, sci-fi, they, you know, it really just depends on what your local store is stocking. Um, and Amazon has everything. Um, you can buy direct from any of these companies as well. Um, but yeah, um, but yes, bracing is really important. And you see, I have both hands touching my top and I'm always touching the top with both hands. Mm -hmm. And it really increases your hand control quite a bit. And the other thing is, if you're painting your base coat and you're sort of, you know, it's maybe not covering on the first pass, go ahead and let it dry and okay. do a second thinner pass on top. That's what I was going to ask. Yes. It's like it's like a scene, yeah. Oh, it's absolutely. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because you really, you, you know, I, the first beginner's mistake is to put too much paint on. Mm. Um, the glop. The glop. Whoa, <laughs> that's where you got your name from. That's true. The you glop. should see my poor uh, rebel soldier. He looks like glue. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Glue man. That's glue. Oh, this little glue guy man. is already starting to come alive. This is great. They like your ring, Kenny. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. That's Wait, is that like a dice? Is no, that a dice no. ring? It's oh. like a, yeah. It's a... I need one of those, though. I love those. I like those. Those, those are cool. Actually, I want it more for tracking life counter stuff in other games like Magic or something. Because that's forget. yeah, that's actually really good. So when really painting good. the face, mm -hmm. did you just go all over the whole? A uh, lot of teeth here, so I just skip the teeth. No, you around, can, as a beginner, you go ahead and paint right over those teeth. Okay. Yep. And he has, he has earrings too, so over that. Over that earring, yep. Because wow. we're base coating. You know, you do your biggest area first, mm -hmm. and then you go back in and base coat the details. Gotcha. It just it for for people that are starting out, it just. Okay. It, yeah, it's just, it's easier. You guys are both base coating perfectly. I mean, I, you're not beginners. You're still kind. Just, just wait. Well, you. you're good. <laughs> right. Oh. right, so yes. fuckery is Now, if I, if like my arm was painted, then I'd be like, oh, maybe you don't have what it takes to be a miniature <laughs> Like, the mini's over there. You know? What like, side do I use again? Yeah, like, if, yeah, if you were questioning what side of the brush to use, I'd say, maybe this isn't for you. Uh, oh, but, folks in the chat are also saying, uh, mentioning Hero Forge. Oh, uh, yes. If you want to make custom minis, they have uh, like a 3D thing where you can like pick a species, pick a, even like a theme, so you can pick sci-fi or fantasy, um, and then all details, expression, everything from there. And it's, I think their, their lowest one is like 20 bucks, 25 mm -hmm. bucks. Yep. 
Um, and you can go all the way up to like gold now. I think they make them out of anything really. Bronze, gold, um, yeah, it's crazy. They're pretty sweet. I've designed a bunch. I've yet to buy one because I wanted to get good at this before I start spending that kind of money. Oh yeah. And they're also mentioning Bones Kickstarters are a great way to start a collection. Oh my expensive. god, yes, they are. They yeah, because you'll get you'll probably get 150 minis for. I forget, but it, it boils down to maybe a dollar a mini, and you get a hundred of them. I mean, it's it's. Um, actually, Reaper just announced their. Oh, really what did they announce? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. They announced okay. something. I said, uh oh, Art. It's fine. We just lost some hundred. Nothing's wrong. Oh. <laughs> Everything is wrong. A sheep just fell. Honestly, like a sheep just fell through the ceiling. I don't even know where it came from. Oh, tears. Oh, tears. oh, oh, oh. All right. Probably so, came by catapult. Oh, zombie bacon burner. It says needs to get going. Hoping to catch you guys later, but it's lunchtime. Need to leave the house and get some food. Thanks for the, joining hey, us. Thank, you, thank so you so much for your help. Absolutely. For causing destruction yes. and havoc. We yeah. have chaos. Yes. At what point should I be adding like okay, more I water or wiping this off or anything like that? Um, no, you can just keep going. Yep. And really it is by eye. It's like um, when you notice that your brush is getting a little dry, just yeah. a okay. tick of water. And, and I'm even bracing when I'm going to get my water. I even yeah. brace. I think I put too much water on you. Yeah, I even brace like that. And just, and too much water, it gets too runny, mm -hmm. right? And then you just towel it off. You, gotcha. you do that and then add a little more paint. You're probably gonna need a little more paint. As if only I was here for the armies, more chaos would have been there for you guys. Oh my next god, I know, oh. next time. It I was, love that that's the one that everyone epic. wanted too. It was like, that's, the armies are gone. I know, and we were done fighting by the time people got, were it getting into it. Epic. <laughs> so whenever you're finished your, your green, you glass? can then, no, he's not. He has braces. Some paint. No, braces. he's he's got braces. Yeah. Sweet. I'm just gonna go. Whenever you're done, your um, green, you move into your other colors. Sweet. Little bits again. I'm gonna move into brown. So this is cool. This so I, this figure is probably the most simple of all of the figures yeah. in that set because he's he's literally wearing a loincloth and that's it. <laughs> it's, it's a man after my own heart. <laughs> it's kind of my preferred uh, preferred attire. Yet to try the loincloth. Yeah, no, it's it's oh, a winner. Just, I'm wearing one now. <laughs> I'm wearing one now. Oh crap! He has a neck. Forgot all about his neck. They do have necks. Yeah. They have beefy necks. Dude, they have beefy everything. They have beef everything. I'm having trouble like, getting in the bend of his bicep. I'm like, come on, man. I know. They're, they're big dudes. And they smell really yes, bad. You actually need to move your mic down because you're hunched over so much. Oh, no, 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 no. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can you give me this camera? Put it right there. Is that better? Yeah. Cool. So don't feel bad. I'm I'm kind of flying through, but you guys take your time, please. All right. I'm. Oops, I did the thing. Damien's already. What did you do? I just dunked it for absolutely no reason. <laughs> I've done that so many times. <laughs> Honestly, it's. I don't even want to admit it anymore. <laughs> you are such an awesome teacher, man. You're making me feel so good. You guys are. <laughs> see, okay, so my, my instructor. He was like, that's horrible, that's terrible, that's horrible, that's terrible. And then like 10, no, 15 years later, he was like, that's kind of okay. Nice. And when he said that's kind of okay, I was like, oh, I must, I've, I've made it. Tears in your <laughs> eyes. I've made it, like, yeah. that's past. So now, the way I teach is I like to focus on the tiny little milestones. Yay. So yeah. what do you say when it's like really good? Like, well, no one died. Well, I'm a surfer, so like, that's epic is kind of what we, what we, or I'm stoked, I'm really stoked, or, or I have like code, like, I don't know. I have the least amount of green, I'm taking the longest with these. No, take your time, take your, please, take your time. My guy's tiny. You actually picked real orcs. I got the run of the litter. <laughs> And I'm painting all this ammo. This is fun. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna try to make a gold out of some colors. Hi, to hear from. Was oh nice. Just saw him. How's it going? 
Uh, Sir Grant says, so if, uh, if getting into Warhammer, is it best to get a group set, and which group should I start off with? I, I feel like that's a taste thing. Like, I think yeah, we, you really we have went to... with orcs because they're, they're wacky, and there's like some humor. Well, also, yeah. we, we were asked to buy it. That is true. Like, get yourself some orcs. Here's some money. So we got orcs. Oh, I see. Um, but also, they're super fun. And still, with what I've learned about Warhammer, we, I got, oh shit, I got, <laughs> I got the, uh, I got the rule book. Um, and still, after reading up on everybody, I think orcs are still my favorite because they're just so ridiculous. They're they're like steroid injecting fungal people. Yeah. And their machines work because they believe in them, not because they should, which yeah. I think is a brilliant. And if they paint something red, they believe that it goes faster. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> yeah. They're amazing. But no, as far as painting goes, um, orcs are probably one of your easier, uh, when you're a beginner, you know, they're one of your easier uh, factions to paint. Um, who else is easy? Space Marines are pretty easy. Um, you know, or you could go into fantasy. And as far as a starter set, um, I usually start with the infantry. Like, um, you know, like a, this is like a, a, a box of infantry, like a squad. Mm. Um, that's how I usually start. Um, Kill Team is a game that's out now from Games Workshop where you can buy tiny little squads and it's playable out of the box like that. That's oh, yeah. also a really good option. We're saying... Uh... Just asks, uh, would you say it's best to use a palette, or is it okay to get the paint directly from the pot or bottle? Um, don't look, I, I have the worst habit of getting it directly from the pot or bottle. Um, don't do that. <laughs> I it's it'll ruin your brushes because you'll stick your brushes in there and whatever. Um, honestly, I would get a palette. And if you want to, if you're in this for the long haul, um, definitely get yourself a porcelain palette. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. Just type in um, miniature porcelain palette. And it kind of looks like a flower. It's got like six different um, slots and then a, a slot in the middle. Uh, and the beautiful part is, because it's porcelain, um, once every, all the paint's dried, you can run it under water and soap and just peel off the paint. Oh, that's so awesome. It's, yeah. So what happens, but maybe this is normal, but you get like a little runoff well, like hair. Oh, runoff hair is it's probably time to change the brush. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's if there's enough. Why don't so okay. I'm done doing certain parts. Okay. Why don't that's great. Why don't you switch over? This is okay. an easier brush to use. Okay. You're a little light on yeah, your so green. green. Okay. So go ahead and coat a little heavier. Gotcha. Yeah, be you can be a little more confident in your in your coats. Aggressive. Same with you, a little bit. You probably want to hit that green another time. Okay. Same with the brown. So if you look, see Wait, how I'm dark. Already? See how dark. Oh yeah, that's like dark. Solid. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of the level you want, right? Okay. So my orcs more of a, a grayish green orc. You know? I mean, if your orcs got feelings, they got <laughs> that, feelings. That but new, uh... mine's just green. Just and he likes wearing gray clothes too. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you got a special orc. But no, I the orcs are great. They're hilarious. So should I just pick a spot to? <laughs> I'm, I'm like this. Esmeralda is asking for <laughs> your feelings on wet palette. I'm not even sure. Oh yeah. I can't see yeah. It. So right, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so your wet palette is definitely a go. Um, as you get into painting, you're absolutely going to want one. Um, there's a lot of companies that sell them. Art stores will sell them. Um, I think Michaels sells them. Um, you can actually, there's a trick, you can make them at home really cheap. You buy rice paper or parchment paper. Hmm. Um, and then um, minis will come in a clamshell with a little slice of foam. All you gotta do is keep that foam in the clamshell, fill it up with water so that it, the foam is absorbing the water, cut your little square of rice paper, put it right on that foam, you got yourself a, a wet palette. Huh. It's that easy. Um, but yes, yeah, so wet palettes, the beautiful part is your paint won't dry, and when you get into your upper levels of blending and everything, you can blend right on that palette, and it makes it a lot easier. Um, so I'd suggest starting off with a regular palette, um, but if you jump right in and you get a wet palette and you start with that, no problem. Yeah, but you'll eventually you'll want one. So I am trying to make gold to paint these bullets. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's see how, we'll see how that works. I don't know how that's gonna work. But yeah, it's pretty. Orcs, orcs have so much personality, which is really why I like to paint them. It's true, they're not as, as buried the in helmets. So, and, yeah. And the features are so defined. 
that they're easy. very easy. Like, old. I don't know where the, where the uh, water e- is. Everything pops out. It's just like boom. Oops. That again. Yeah, that is really one of the biggest reasons why I like um, forks. I like this little underarm tendon thing happening. <laughs> I love that kind of detail. Oh god, yeah, yeah. And 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 GW really, the, their prices are a little high, but um, Games Workshop figures are second to none as far as details. Oh sure, yeah, that would. They're just incredible with details. It's one of the main reasons I wanted to learn to paint is because I have a bunch of uh, cool mini or not games at home oh, that yes. I want to make very pretty someday. Oh my god! It's yes. like I'm saving Rising Sun for last. Oh yeah, I love those. Yeah, those games. minis are complicated. <laughs> they are gorgeous. I can though. paint them for you if you want. Nope. <laughs> you stay the hell away. <laughs> stay away. I have crayons. <laughs> I have crayons and stuff. <laughs> I paint with my fingers. <laughs> I paint with all of the person's fingers. Good. So I kind of, that's not gold, but we'll make it gold in a minute. So then, once you're done, I mean, you can go in then with a detail brush and base coat your teeth with white when you're ready. Because it's not green or it's like Perfect. Now you're, now you're in the, yep. Right. Now you're in the money. Absolutely. Solid enough. Money. Yeah, very good. Cool. Yep. Awesome. Well, it's spot. I don't know why I said it like a jam. Mm, this isn't the money. Was that a tusk? Oh, that is a tooth. By the way, my camera isn't blurry, it's just that's just how I paint. <laughs> <laughs> it's also a webcam. It's also a webcam. Get yes. you wondering. Wow, are you really good? Not for macros. Uh-huh. Not for macro. Bing. It's for It's for all right, so we're okay. done. Okay, now we're cool. Uh, go. I would go into brown since I basically the way I do my base coating is I always go from like um, uh, the largest areas down to the tiniest areas. Okay, so changing colors, I might have mentioned this already, but just... Yep, d- yep. Just dip, dip, dip. 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 Shake, I dip and shake. I'm a dip and shaker. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then dry your brush by rolling it on the uh, on your towel. Well, when you do that dip, we dip. <laughs> I haven't heard that song <laughs> in very, very <laughs> long time. That was the song, though. <laughs> That was my jam. Oh my god. Oh. So now I'm doing my little bomb scene where I missed something. It's a brown. Oh, I didn't even. Oops. That's yeah, and leather. there's so many details that you may miss them on the okay. first go. You totally. can always just Let's take just a gander. Lots of leather, lots of metal. Yeah, leather and metal. That's what they're into. That is the main thing. Okay, cool. So my guy's about done. What? I'll, I'll keep uh, you, what do you want? What do you want from me, Art? Just tell me where to be. He's just, he's What's all over that? the place. I'm surprised I'm not covered in paint, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm Ooh. waiting for it. I like to look at this. Oh man, when I, when I was in art classes, yeah. I was the kid who had like charcoal all over his face. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone would laugh at me. Like literally flat out, just laugh at me, because that was the idiot who couldn't keep the charcoal off. That of is amazing. So mine's done. Um. <laughs> 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 so I'm gonna wait <laughs> patiently. Can you grab him another one, please? Yeah. yeah. You want to pay you have a whole army while we're like with two. Yeah. I've been doing this for like, the green, like 30 guys. years. So. I got the green. Can I see your yeah. Oh, this is just base coating. Like There's time. nothing fancy yet. Uh, so brown. Uh, yeah. Brown, uh, Actually, you know what? Brown. You can just borrow it from here. Okay. Yeah. I feel so honored. Go right ahead. Yeah, so it's actually, Wait, so after the base coat, they look pretty bad, but then the next stage, they're gonna Ooh. look amazing. Oh, sh- So, okay, hey, Ryan. Have. Yeah. You go from no to pro really fast when you do your washes. So, what do you, are we, are we, are we, are we Oh, look at that, yeah. Ooh. That's awesome. But yeah, it looks really basic, but you wait. Huh. There's more. I think that's basic. Okay, yeah. so so are we make, making them all the same in terms of clothing? So I would do that. So all yeah. of us are like, okay, so you're. Okay. I would just go into the brown and okay. keep it keep all it brown. simple. Yeah, I'd right. keep it simple. You can call me stupid. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like simple better. There's a positivity to simple. <laughs> it's like, oh, precious. Well, it's like, oh, it's very zen, you know. And you're like, no, I just, I, I just, I don't understand anything that's happening around me. But. So my character has spikes. And so the spikes will be metal. So do I, should I just 
You can paint right over everything. Okay. So remember, we're so going we from larger areas to smaller. Gotcha. So, this, so. so everything's brown. That's not skin right now, right? Yeah. Okay, so everything this, else is brown. I'm assuming this shirt goes all the way down, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Is that belly showing? And then no, he's not. he might have some belly showing. I don't know. They get weird out in the, the desert wastes. They start <laughs> wearing belly shirts. And I don't <laughs> even know. I don't know. Like a poke in there's, Yeah, there's some weird orcs out there. But no, legit. Like when they pay, have a uh, uh, like a motorcycle and they paint that bad boy red, it goes ten times faster to them. That's my. <laughs> it doesn't actually like, go whoa. faster, but they're like, "Whoa, this thing goes faster!" <laughs> yeah, it's pretty awesome. And I think yellow means it shoots faster. I forget, or maybe I'm getting it backwards. I don't remember. I think that's right. Because I remember hearing at least the red for speed thing. Red for speed and yellow for like it's zappier. <laughs> or something. I don't know. Get but they're DACA. fungal creatures. They they're are. like, they're so, it's so they weird. They leave spores when they die. They leave stuff. spores and when they, they die everywhere. and they just, Sorry. oh yeah. They go everywhere. So they're fun. In fact, I've probably got a bunch of orcs in my nose right now that I've inhaled from being in here. <laughs> it's because we're killing them over here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna cough and like 10 orcs just came out. <laughs> 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 Oh, those guys get that's Ooh, awesome. Get that. Steel leather and belly buttons. Oh, that's Jason. That's a friend of mine. Yeah. 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 That's Jason who's, uh, he was in earlier as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the one who told us about you, as a matter of fact, sir. Well, that is awesome. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, that's very true. And I'm going to continue to wait. <gasps> and Jason, for those who remember, uh, was on last studio day with Presidential Knife Fight. I love that game. It is so Oh fun. my god, that game is oh, so good. You were liking a backstabbery type game? Yeah, right? That's, <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> that's super weird. Okay. Aw, thank on. you. Huh? Oh my god, yeah, hey! absolutely. And Thanks, Fiber Flower Thanks, Power. Power. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the painting tips. This is something I'd really like to try. Well, we can make that happen. Absolutely. Yeah. No, it's great. I'm just gonna everything like that. And there's so many different minis. I mean, like, whatever you're into. If you're into undead unicorns, there's that. If you're into freaking uh, orcs, there's that. Uh, God, there's even, like, robotic chickens. What? Uh, oh, yeah. There's, like, like undead octopi. <laughs> uh, that, I would be all about that. I mean, there, like, there's, there's ray guns shooting, like, brain creatures. Uh, any type of miniature, if you're into Dungeons and Dragons or or sci-fi or uh, history, I mean, there's like thousands of historical minis. I think they're really boring, but <laughs> the historical ones. Yeah, because they're just they're boring. Yeah. I like weird stuff. Yeah, escapism is good. Yeah. I love es Yeah, I want weird. Like the honestly, undead unicorns are kind of my thing. <laughs> like I'm really into that. Yeah, that's awesome. And tiny, tiny, tiny. That's my jam. Like, this guy is not small enough. <laughs> He's just not small enough. All right. Okay, so I think I am Good. You keep brown on enough. keeping on. Absolutely. Yep, brown mm -hmm. enough. Yep. Should I go hit it with silver? Go ahead and do the metal. Yep. I'm going to fly down this, uh, this brown here's your metal. for me. Go. Yep. So it's, let's say you are like, okay, now i got to go really fast. Mm -hmm. You just, is more water? How do, how do you? Yeah, just a touch your, more water. What's your, how do you nuke it? Uh, just a little more water. Okay. So I w so if you really want to go fast, you th you get a bunch of paint on your brush, uh -huh. and then just add a touch of water. Gotcha. And it just. Whoosh. I'm just going brown, and then we'll yep, go yep. over it again. Totally, absolutely, yeah. And a lot of it is confidence, and just um, a lot of miniature painting is after you've gotten an instructional, it is just doing it over and over again, and you will kind of pick up these weird, you know, like these things I can't teach you where you might want to thicken up your paint, or maybe you thin it down. You know, these are these micro adjustments that you just learn from doing it. Yeah. You know, there's no better practice than practice. It's, I like that. Do it's you, just, yeah. in terms of your, in terms of your stroke, do yeah. you just go long across, do you go with the shape of the, or does it matter? It doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. It just, um, there are certain techniques like dry brushing where you go against the grains, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna be doing a wash and then a dry brush after that, mm. so. Um, I like this silver. I have a yeah. silver, but I like this one. No, more. that silver is really, it's got a little bit of dirt to it. Yeah. It's, it's bright, but it's got just a touch of dirt. It's really like silvery, real fleck, like, yeah, it's, it's got a lot of flecks in it. 
I'll go over his skin again in a minute. Oh yeah, yeah. And anything, if you make a mistake mm -hmm. in the base coating stage, it's the easiest because you've already got your paint set out. Yeah. And you just go over it with that color and it's super easy. So, not an issue at all. But no, I'm, I'm ex I can't, but you just wait. The base coating stage, everything looks kind of wonky. And then when you hit it with a wash, it's like, whoa. It's so epic. <laughs> yeah, I'm psyched on this guy. This mini is really cool. Oh, it's, I get it. They said it was two people. It's Minx and Boo. Well, Boo is his rat on his shoulder. <laughs> I was like, there's supposed to be two minis in this box. Well, it's it's this dude nice. and Boo, his rat on his shoulder. That is super cool. Or maybe it's a guinea pig. I don't know. It's hard to tell. <laughs> but he's really, is that like a guinea? I don't know if it's Rex. Right, I don't see a tail. A hamster? It could be a yeah, hamster. It's cute. I know, it's super cute. I like him. I wonder if he's... Cause they started making minis of like Critical Role characters and stuff recently. He could too. be oh, really? Critical Role. Yeah, yeah they that. did. He could be from Critical Role. I only Role. watched part of like season one, so I have no idea. I know it's, it's been crazy, but no, this is really high quality plastic too. This is nice. Oh, I have a question because I'll always yes. mess this up. Um, so like, there are different minis made out of different types of plastic, and some right. of them only accept certain kinds of glue without like oh, destruction. Oh God, that's a really good question. <laughs> yes. So on any GW mini. If you use like plastic, plastic glue, it will actually melt the plastic and fuse the pieces together. Um, you want wow. to use that type of glue. That is the glue you want. However, if you use um, cyanoacrylate glue, glue, like super glue, mm -hmm. it's too brittle for plastic. I just don't like it. I like plastic view, or plastic glue. Okay. Um, and uh, I really like that melting. Um, now Reaper Bones figures, you need to use super glue. Um, every, honestly, there's no real rule of thumb now with all the different uh, manufacturing uh, materials. But super glue works on everything. It's just cool. not the most ideal for yeah. everything. And you absolutely need super glue for metal minis. Okay. Obviously can't use plastic glue. It that just won't work. It, it'll be more, it'll be like water. Wait, Ming Sing Boo from Walder's Gate. Yes. Yeah. Ah, oh, there yeah, you yeah, go. yeah. It's from Walder's Gate. Uh, Absolutely. Okay, so I got a little brown on that part. Do um, like... Oh, Painter's Guild Season 4. Uh, probably if there is a Season 4, which I'm, I think there will be. Um, yeah, I'll be on it. And uh, I'm super excited. Um, I mean, we went really big last season with... Uh, we got um, Kira from Deep Space Nine on the final episode and... That was insane. I met her in person, and she <laughs> liked me. <laughs> I mean, she didn't like run away screaming, so so that's a plus. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Boo's a miniature giant space hamster. Oh my god, are you serious? A that miniature is, giant space hamster. That is awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. But yeah, this guy's from Baldur's Gate, I guess. I had no idea. No wait, who's Minx and who's Boo? Boo is the Boo is the hamster, and it's actually a hamster. That's fabulous. that's freaking awesome. That is amazing. Well, this is so much better on the camera. <laughs> but yeah, um, Esmeralda, Wild Fury. Yeah, so um, the final episode of season three, Will taught uh, Kira how to paint a starship Enterprise. Uh, and it dope. was nice. amazing. She was way better painter than he is. <laughs> but, well, I didn't say that. <laughs> but yeah, it was so cool. And I was behind the scenes instructing them from afar. So oh, it, was, cool. it was really cool. Boo is a hamster. Oh my god, that's awesome. That's so cool. I love this. But yeah, so this figure comes in the pack. That's, that's really cool. God, it's so hard to get underneath. I'm still totally... To get underneath. Yeah, well, in between, like, I, oh, between, yes. like, the I didn't yeah. put them in the yeah. most forgiving poses. I did the same thing with my, uh, my Star Wars figures. Oh, poses. the other cool thing about Games Workshop figures is you can pose them however you want. Um, the Reaper Bones figures, they come pre-posed. So unless you're really good at converting minis, um, they're, whatever pose they're in, that's how they stay. Yeah. So that's, that's another thing to keep in mind. That is a fun part. That was actually the most enjoyable mm -hmm. thing for me, building the orcs, is because, like, I still have two bags from the same box of just extra arms and torsos and stuff yeah. that didn't get used because there's so many options. These are really yeah. good, Danny. 
Well, yeah, and you develop this bits box where it's like this this big box of bits, and you can oh, especially with orcs, you can start like I'll add this gun onto that bike, and then that this head onto that guy's shoulder, and <laughs> you can do all kinds of really cool stuff. Um, so yeah, GW you know is definitely the way to go for for that stuff, but it is one of the more expensive miniature lines. So um, if you're really starting out and fantasy is your thing, Reaper Bones or Wizards of the Coast, like their D and D line is amazing. I can't believe that's. I knew that wasn't a rat. I know rats. <laughs> like I know, I know rats, rats intimately well, and it didn't <laughs> feel like a rat. You know, like. It's just, it didn't feel like a rat. And now I know it's, it's whatever. Oh no, I hope I didn't ruin the finale for you, um, but that is the finale, and <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really cool. But you've got to watch them do it. It's, she's a beautiful painter, Kira. She's, her real name is Nana Visitor. Um, interesting name, but, uh, but yeah, I call her Kira because she'll always be Kira. Of course I'm going underneath the... <laughs> yep, mm -hmm. right. under the boot, yep, absolutely. Silver off the yeah. knuckle. This is so... Okay, now I want... Int Jason says, intimately. <laughs> 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 intimately. I know rats. Oh, Kira. Ah. Mm. Uh, skull color. Oh, um, so we have white, but... And a little yellow? Yep. Off white. And you know what? Since we can probably get to it, um, would you mind getting uh, in my paint kit? I've got uh, Seraphim Sepia. It's a like a bottle. It looks just like this, mm -hmm. and it's called Seraphim Sepia. And if you could grab that, yep. yep. And that will hit on the whites to make them look bone. And, oh, sick and weird. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna, um. So I'm leaving this like like that right now. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna over that too. Mm -hmm. Just leaving that. Oh, an Agrax Earthshade. If you can, that's a taller one. So, so we're just gonna get weird. It's gonna get weird <laughs> let's in here. This, let's do this. Oh, so so yeah. the like the purse, like the blade. Do I paint over that? I mean, yep, I, yep. The whole blade, the so whole blade metal. Oh, metal. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm just making sure I'm not. Yep. Oh, yeah. perfect. And then, can you mind getting um, Agrax Earthshade? It's 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 tall like this, and it's, it says Agrax Earthshade. Yeah. But these guys are doing so well that I figure we might as well. We might as well go all in. Oh, Brown wash, yeah. That's that's my nickname. I know. <laughs> yeah. So Agrax Earthshade, this is where I got my nickname. Um, actually, originally it was Devlin Mud, but th this is the new GW name. Uh, I put this on everything. It's like hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I put that shit on everything. I like legitimately. I I use it so much that that is my name now. Brown wash. And you'll see the brown wash is like, oh my god, it changes everything to brown. <laughs> Which is another thing I'm intimately close with. Brown. It's brown washes. Yeah. Time living in an alley, you know. <laughs> Growing up with my friends, the pigeons. Oh, That's all brown to me. I glopped. That's all brown to me, yeah. Eventually. I glopped a lot. Oh, don't! It doesn't have to be perfect. Base coat doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna cover over a lot of this stuff anyway. Oh, I know. I, I like. I filled the because the skull is so pretty. But I like filled the nostrils and the. Oh no, that's totally stuff. fine. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. All right. So the cool part about wash is wash is a crack seeker. So, mm. kind of like me back in the '70s. <laughs> 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 I'm not actually that old. <laughs> oh, they're kind of crack seeker now. <laughs> crack seeker. <laughs> oh, some of the things I say, I don't even know why they come out. Uh, but yeah, so a wash will find the cracks and bring them out. Nice. Yeah. So. So. That's good. So don't feel bad about the cracks. Cracks are not. All right, cracks. So okay, now now the metal. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go over. So, am I going over this again with something else? I, I didn't mean to do with this what? brown. Well, the the his bracelet. I didn't oh yeah, you do metal. That's fine. So just metal right yeah, now. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. You can always cover over something that you okay. don't like. Absolutely. So, so, and so do the gun. Wait. I would do the gun metal yeah. too. Yep. So. Yeah. So yep. Go ahead in there. Yeah. So you don't wait until it dries before you go over it with something else, or? Um. No, I do. I oh. wait for it to dry. That's yes. Metal too. 
Um, we good. really do. Somebody really wants to hear Ryan sing about crack again. Oh God, yes. <laughs> the pure crack. Shake this head, no. Apple and crack. Oh, yes. Apple and pure. Apples and crack. A is for apple. C is for crack. Apple is crack. Apple <laughs> is crack. <laughs> like Apples this. and crack. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is the song that I sing, and then talk smack <laughs> about crack. Yeah. I wish it was that uh, good. The, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Can you sing it? That's my crack song. But people liked Ryan, apparently. And I remembered I can still put things on his back later, because I left a little hole open. Because these guys have oh, little, you're right. little flags that come out yeah. for squad leader stuff, I think. They're like very not-cultured samurai. <laughs> uh, that's nice. That's a good one. <laughs> very uncultured samurai. Are we going to be playing the bass at all? Uh, not yet. Okay, no, great. you you can leave that totally unpainted I, I or just sloppy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It'll, we'll paint right over it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna no, go this brown. Okay. Let's do it. Over. No, that's perfect right there. Yeah, this oh, nice strong purple background. Yeah. Okay. Right. No, that's good. That's. There we go. Me and my oh, little gosh. little grot. He's so cute. He's a little grot. He's cute. He has names already? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He got his toenails so and everything. Uh, mine is Flamberto. <laughs> the grot. Uh, he grew up... Um, he grew up pretty tough. He... Um, he, he can't read like me. Um, he also can't see. He's blind. Oh. <laughs> and he can't hear. So effectively, he's completely useless. But he's so cut off from the world that he's really happy. He's just, he can't hear, he can't Aww, see. Heaven. He it can't, obviously, he can't read because he can't hear. I mean, that doesn't make sense. But that's obviously. Flamerto. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. That's who he is. Yeah. I feel like he's a reflection of me because sometimes I can't hear. And then I, then I can't see. I'm gonna name this one Glop Snipperson. Glop Snipperson. That's a very orky name. Yes. That is an orky, like. Now, what's yours? Glop Snipperson. How'd you pick my name? What? The, well, you cannot. <laughs> no, they're not the like. Of, what are they, brothers? What are the chances? Are they <laughs> completely like, independent? I swear. Get out of my mind, Danny. They're like Spore Brothers. <laughs> they're Spore Brothers. Oh, or they're yeah. like Spore Twins. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sport sport. They divided yeah. on the wind. Will you be my sport twin? The name is Spork. Oh, sport nice. Spork nice. the Orc. Spork. Yeah. Spork the Orc. I like that. I like that. That, that really suits you. Uh, All right. So you good? I think yeah. so. Looks good to me. Yeah. Did you do the teeth? I did a tooth because. Oh, good. Because I think the rest of it is just frowny lip. Oh, you're right. It is frowny lip. Yep, yep. Um, and I wasn't even sure if that was a tooth. I was like, yeah, oh, give perfect. One. Hey, if you want to get fancy while he's while we're no, finishing, sure, sure. Put put you know, red I'm, and I'm, color the wires stream, okay? like red, yellow, <laughs> blue, maybe. Oh shit. Okay. Just color wires and whatever. No, you're doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> you are a winner. It went too. from well to fine. Oh. Yes. I noticed that. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you're moving up. Oh. It's okay to be the slow one. Yes. Empty. <laughs> Yes. Says, guys, glad to see Danny's finally getting those orcs painted. I know. <laughs> I'm excited too. Yes. Indisporsible. Uh, you. That is totally yes. Indisporsible. How did you know? All right. But yeah. Ooh. ooh okay. I don't and know. if you want to get really fancy, some of the wires can be black, and then you can do hash marks of yellow to make it look like hazard oh, wire. Whoa, 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 Sparky. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that. If you want to get crazy. Yeah. But I am gonna. I want to make his gold. Some... Never mind, too late now. Paint. No, you're good. You do gold. whatever you I'll want. Make his guns gold, but that's okay. You can make his guns gold. You can make his teeth gold. You can oh, make anything gold. gold. The only thing is, is unfortunately, so this kit doesn't come with a gold. Yeah. So you kind of have to make one out of yellow and brown, sort of. Um, but once we hit it with a wash, it'll look a lot more gold. It'll shoot faster, at least. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> why you want to make his gun gold. Now I get it, because it's yellow. Now nah, I get it, but well, flump my, my pink. Oak's not that smart. He's gonna, he paints it red. Is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> I really he like it'll shoot faster. Yeah. <laughs> if he paints it red. <laughs> oh, that's that's a great idea. Is there a flump mini? Because there I has would, to be. I want to oh, paint a. Yeah. Flump. There has to be a flump yeah. mini. I'm sure there is. Oh, There's so. so yes. Like the difference between mini plastic and mini metal. 
Yeah, so most of the time the metal holds detail better okay. and is actually easier to paint. Oh. Um, but uh, it's also more expensive, and a lot of the times metal minis are multi-part, <sighs> and so they're a pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. um, so plastic is usually one-piece minis, and that's easier. Nice. Yeah, and you can put red wherever. I mean, you'd... Come on, put a little bit of orange. I'm actually pretty happy with my little cable here. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, you can go in with the details, and you're doing great. Um, yeah, you're I'm, just no, about I'm noticing the uh, like the, the gaps between like the the orange, like the brown and the green. Oh, don't worry about that. Okay. Cra these are uh, the washes are crack finders, awesome. so they'll find they'll find all those cracks, and they'll they'll find that crack. Gotta find that crack. Gotta get that crack. You know, probably help. Planning for Minnie's future. Yeah. <laughs> uh, beholders. Okay, so we had a question that said, "What color should my beholder be?" Um, God, uh, beholders. What are they usually? Um, I usually do mine as a really cool. So I'll base coat it in. What do I usually do? I'll base coat it in a light, really, really light blue, and then wash it in a purple. So it's kind of this purpley blue. Um, I've seen beholders uh, more fleshy, so they're like, you can um, use like a, actually flump pink would probably do really well for um, a fleshy, yeah, yeah. So, or this one, this, yeah. Oh, never mind. Wait, where were we? Yeah, so <laughs> flump pink maybe, like a, like a fleshy color. We're on Danny's now. Whatever, it's, it's all good. <laughs> flump pink. <laughs> It's um, auto switch or something. It's the flumpiest. So any kind of like a skin color, and then you want to wash that with like um, GW has Reichland Flesh Shade, but you can wash it with a red. Um, it's really up to you. White uh, for the teeth. But I always do mine as like bluey, bluish purple. <laughs> okay, so um, my Sir Manuel is pink, though the cover is brown, and I've seen green. Okay, yeah. So pink is kind of like the way the tried and true. They're made out of flesh. Well, then don't answer that. Tell me where. But yeah, so I don't know what paints are you using, um, and then I might be able to help you out. So, so detail now, or no? what do I, what do I do? Yeah, go ahead and do the teeth, the white teeth. Yep. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you um, if you let me know what colors or type of paint or what colors you've got, I can kind of guide you a little bit. Um, but I usually use like a, uh, the, the blue purple. But if I'm doing like from the Monster Manual, it'll be pink, like fleshy pink, and then I'll wash it in Reichland Flesh Shade, or um, wash it in like a kind of a red wash almost. Um, you can also wash it with Agrax, or um, the, the Agrax will give you that kind of brownish look. Um, that sometimes what do you think? the holders are. Yellow? Should I go yellow? Or yeah. yeah. They can just be um, nasty. <laughs> like they won't be gold, just be nasty. Yeah, that's fine. So, so mixed up white? I mean, the rule of thumb with Orcs is nothing is clean. They refuse to clean any of their equipment. Mm -hmm. So the, the dirtier, the better. They, they don't clean anything. <laughs> so I'm mixing colors, just... I'm sure it's just good. Like, no, okay. have at it. Right. Have at it. I'm a little dry, I think. You can always revive it with a touch of water sometimes. And if it's dry, dry, just re um, put paint in your palette. These guys are getting crazy red now. Red and stiff in there. But this next step, this is where things get really fun. All right. Yeah, this is what I'm super excited about. I'm sorry. All right. I'm, let's keep moving it to where I can see it because my eyes. Suck. I know, you're crazy. Oh, you get all over that. Like I said, I'm surprised I'm not. So covered do in we just do? So how do we do this? Just the whole mouth, or just uh, the you teeth? can do the whole mouth, whole okay. mouth. If it's easier for you, whole mouth. Okay. Otherwise, yep. teeth. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's all equally difficult for me. So. All right. I'll see you, Angela. Twin Angela. <laughs> I can feel your anger. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Oh, I'll see you, Twin Angela. I'll see you, Twin Angela. I'm not asking that. What I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna give. I'm gonna make that brighter. So this is kind of the boring slow part, and then we get into the really fun fast part. Yeah. Well, where is that happening? 
in a minute. <laughs> Wait, this isn't fast. Well, whenever you guys finish, your, oh, sir, your, I'm your just killing time. I'm waiting masterpieces for masterpieces yeah, over here. I was waiting for Daddy. Just oh, just okay, kidding. I get it. I get it. I'm just gonna paint this all. Give him a paint red. his <laughs> blue <laughs> pants. Maybe I, should, maybe I should have went to white again. Just like that. Yeah. Remember me. That's what it's like. That's exactly what that's like. That's <laughs> witness. witness. Thank you. Thank you. Witness. Sorry. Remember me. <laughs> Remember me. Remember me. Witness. We gotta retool that whole song singing to a Martin Joe. That is pretty ridiculous. Pretty Yay. ridiculous. All right, so you good? Yeah. You're good? I'm ready. Let's do the thing. Yeah, We're like waiting him. on him. I'm happy. No, he's looking great. Mm. But you wait. I missed this part. You wait. Like every, this every is time. where we get our beefy brushes. Actually, your guy's oh. huge, so you might want that brush. Okay. Yeah. That's going to be your next brush. Okay, I'm just doing this when I'm not. As I continue to wait. Okay. Patiently. Movie game? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Dan Aykroyd was in Ghostbusters with Bill Murray. No. <laughs> We're waiting on Kenny. We're, We're, waiting, on We're Kenny. waiting on Kenny. <laughs> so you gotta link Bill Murray like, through another film. They killed Kenny. <laughs> they killed Kenny. Everyone gets one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I love South Park. Yeah. I give you that thing. Now, do, do you prefer or light brown or thing? dark brown wash? No. Um, what? If you're gonna be doing. Um, you give me that? If you're going to be using me. a flesh, I would do a dark brown wash mm. uh, for flesh. Yeah. Flesh. I like dark brown wash over light. Uh, I would do like a light brown wash over uh, more bone, um, you know, so like a bone khaki white color. Um, that's where you want to do your light brown. Cool. Okay, I'm, I'm done. All right. Now the magic. Now the magic. <laughs> All right. So we're all done our base coating. Yes. Um, everything's co coated, right? So now the next step is the wash. And so the wash is a very, very watery. I have knocked over thousands of bottles of wash, so oh, no. be very careful when you open them. Um, a wash, I, I use GWs here. Um, we're going to be going for Anthonine Camo Shade. So the rule of thumb with washes is go way darker than your base coat color. So if we've got a green here, so we've got two. We've got Bale Tan Green and Anthonian. And mm -hmm. since I know these, I know that Bale Tan is actually a lot brighter okay. than Anthonian. And since we've kind of already got a bright green, we're going to go dark. Okay. So we're, we're, we're going to use this straight out of the pot. Don't put this in your palette because it's just, it's really watery. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to open this bad boy after you shake it. And then we're going to want a wash brush. So wash brushes are like this, yes. Like, Danny, if you want to show, absolutely. Are you showing? Uh, that showing is a wash yeah. brush. Let me just flash this hmm? brush yeah, here. We're showing the top, yeah. Well, we're focused at your mini, so. That, yeah, there you this, go. this guy there right here. Thank you for the cheers. Yeah! yeah. Thank you for the cheers. Yeah. Awesome, Maybe. thank you. you. Just switch to it. So, so, wash, yeah. yeah. I'm uh, psyched. What you're seeing is, is not that. Our feet um, is not synced. Oh, the feet, okay, there we go. Yeah, so that's a wash brush. They're really beefy. Um, they're, the bristles are a little wider, um, but that, we, cause it, it needs to suck up all that wash and then dump it onto the mini. Yay. The suck and dump. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call it. suck and dump. The girl <laughs> suck and dump. That's kind of how my first girlfriend, uh, anyway. We won't I was resisting that. the urge. <laughs> <laughs> we, well, oh, face we, bomb number one. Yeah, no, it was. <laughs> no, we have a face bomb counter in our chat, so. Yeah, we no need way. that. That's, that was it. All right, so it, this step is like the easiest known to man. You take a bunch of wash and let that brush suck it up and you dump it all over wherever your green is. Sweet. So just like, so just the where green. your green is. So, so right now, know. and you know what, if you don't get it in the green, you can, it's fine, but you're really wanting to get it all over that green. Oh wow. And let it find those cracks. Let it just crack hunt. It is a crack <laughs> hunter extraordinaire. I am just, and you know what? If it gets into your teeth, that's totally cool too. 
And it can even get in your brown. No, no, just brown. Sweet. You can cover the only thing you probably don't want it to cover is your metal. Okay. okay. So now here's the thing. So okay, so I'm covering, I'm covering, I'm covering. Now let's say I get a little bit where I don't want it. Mm -hmm. um, this stuff takes a little while to dry. So what I can do is I can dry my brush and then you wick it out of wherever you don't want it. Nice. Right? Super easy. But it's quick, it's dirty, it's fast, it's fun. Just a word you can send out to the final. So that's it. Oh, so wow. my wash is done. Um, I'm gonna give you guys the green. Okay. Um, we'll we'll start you with green, mm -hmm. and you can use this brush. All right. And then we will start you with brown. Okay. So you're gonna wash your okay. metal with brown. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. Right. And I'm just doing the green. And it's the same technique, same same process, just <laughs> different colors. So metal with brown, but yes. not brown with brown. So not yeah. Easy is it, Ryan? So if you guys want to zoom in, you can see what it looks like after a wash. Okay. Um, I'll, take, I'll, I'll take it over here. So oh, okay, perfect. It. Yeah, and, and as, you, as you can see, it immediately becomes 3D. It's like mm -hmm. talent in a can. It is that amazing. Um, and then when it dries, it's even better. Oh, that's dope. Now you're that's painting cool. it on, yeah. you want to dump it on. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, you really want, like, the more the better, and then you oh. can always wick out. Right, you can always wick out. Okay. Don't wick out. Like that better? But, yeah. Somewhere like, out, absolutely. Man. Like a dabby slap? A dabby slap. A dabby slap. The dabby slap. There you go. And then wick away when it's too, you know, so it's, a lot of the times it'll start pooling in areas. Mm -hmm. You might want to wick out just a little bit of the pooling. So let me, I'm going to um, finish my other colors. Um, so on any metallics, I oh, wow. use uh, Agrax Earthshade, so I use a dark brown wash. Oops. And check this when you see what this looks like when it's done. It's gonna look good. <laughs> and washes are best used with minis that have tons of tiny little details. Mm. That's where washes really, really shine. Ah, sick. Right? That yeah. looks super cool. But yeah, sick. I told you this is talent in a can. Like this, the, any beginner painter will get to be pro level in one step with this wash. Bing, bing. All right, so. Now you can hold that under the, you can hold that under the light and check, or under the camera and check that bad boy out. And it magically wicks away all the mistakes that you made in <laughs> the base coat stuff. Uh, I also have to, uh, <laughs> it's a pretty uh, bold claim So let there. me watch you. So you're kind of painting, you so really oh, want to dump. dump. Okay, dump. Dump. Suck, dump, and then you can always, dump. the suck and dump. Suck and dump. Just remember Brian, third grade. Suck and dump. I sucked. Okay. I sucked, I'm all about sucking and I got dumped. Uh, oh, huh. <laughs> like suck and keep your life. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, so more, or is that? Let's see. Obviously. No, you want it more, more in your green. Okay. You really want all those muscles to like right. pop out. Right. Let's do this. Boop. Yep, perfect. Oh my God. And you can actually hit the hit the brown. Yeah. Yep. Go Same ahead and step. hit the brown with. Yep. Should I? Uh, to see, it's okay. Oh, yep. mine got teeth a little bit. See, it's okay still. Totally. Get the teeth. Oh yeah, get the teeth. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. And I, you know, after a little while, nice. I'll go ahead and wick out strategically, maybe mm. areas that it's a little too heavy in. And you just, all you do is use a dry brush and then wick some out, wipe it off on your towel, wick out some more. Oh, I missed some green area. Hey, thank you for the follow. Want some more green? Nice. Um, yeah, there's some, uh, no, I think okay, I got. Okay, so I feel like this is a lot, is that? Like that's it? perfect. Okay. That, now you're in the money. Yeah, right. that's it, that's it right there. Yep. A dime! That is exactly. So you want this green back? Oh, you already got some more green. Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. I'm doing. I'm being a bad boy and I'm getting it directly from the pot, which is a really bad habit. If whoever's watching, don't watch me do this. It's <laughs> not good. You ruin your brushes that way. Bad, bad oh. habit. Okay, so now I'm wicking. I should be wicking away now. Um, Leave it. Roll yeah, roll. you can. Um, what do you got? Green? Um, yeah. No, you look good. Yeah. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? It's yeah. talent in a can. It's cra it's like. 
You don't have to be good. <laughs> not, <laughs> I'm not saying that you're bad. I'm just saying. No, it's okay. I got you. <laughs> you don't have to be. It's like, it's like Instagram. Loud yeah. and clear. <laughs> message received. <laughs> Loud and clear. Yeah. It's a compliment. Hey, dude, just, sorry, Zach. You're not late. You're just on time. We're still going. Yeah. I'll put it closer to the camera. Okay. So you're good, so we'll give you the green. Sweet. All right, so and then we'll take the brown right. once you're... Oh, dunky dunk. I'm all good. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna hit... I'm uh, gonna hit my brown one. again. This was... Uh, yeah. Brian's camera. Okay. Yeah. Meep, 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 meep. Wow, look at that. Oh my it's god. It's a Kenny drop. Mm. Can't rush. You can't rush. You can't rush sucking dumps. You cannot rush the sucking dump. My sucking dump was was a long time coming. But <laughs> the sucking dump. I need a T-shirt that says "sucking dump." <laughs> Hopefully, with an asterisk Trade that explains. Yes, yeah, so that explains the backstory. Back like. Probably right. It'll be in the back of the shirt. Also, so they have to, like, I have to turn, they, they basically, they'll look at me in the front, and then as I walk past them, they'll be, like, following me, like, wow, that guy, it says suck and dump on a shirt. And then they get the explanation on the back. And they're like, oh! They're like, oh, <laughs> I get, if they make it. No cups, let me turn around, let me see Yeah, that. exactly. <laughs> um, by the way, when you're, also never use the same cup that you're drinking something from for your That's how I ended up to, that's exactly right. Don't coffee. put paint in your coffee. <laughs> They're the same brown, though. What do we got here? I'm late, sorry. It's okay to be late. Okay, so, what's next? I was late uh, for brown. puberty. Should I, should I, uh... Like, ten years late. This is, he used to use old Tester's paint when he was a kid and learned to have proper ventilation. I'm not... You do, so that. Tester's paint, they had like this weird, I swear it was like a government ploy to wow. kill everybody on the planet. <laughs> But they had, it had like a weird toxic smell to it. Um, this paint, it, it's just pure acrylic. It's you don't have to have ventilation. You're good. Um, so okay, so, so now brown? now you're yeah you're onto the brown. So same Is thing on the brown and on the metal. Okay. Yeah, you you can clean that off. Yep. And I am psyched. My little guy is just coming to life. Sweet. I'm gonna need the brown and for. No, nah, I'm good. And I'm once it pools too, you can kind of move it around a little bit. Yeah. Um, once it's dried a bit, and that creates some more effects nice. of kind of getting some more detail out of your your minis. Because sometimes you'll notice some areas are slick, and so they won't hold the wash. So you kind of have to hit it a couple times. Okay. Mm. And like draw it up from the depths. From the from the depths. depths. From the depths. That's how you you have to say it like that. <laughs> That's the important part. But yeah, this is oh, this is really cool. Ah. Something bad happened over there. Damn it, I think a sucking dump just occurred. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag slump. A one sucking man dump. sucking dump. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of a one man army, you're a one man sucking dump. <laughs> Oh, what was I supposed to be? Oh, hey, you got another subscriber. Yeah. Thank you for the sub. Fizzgig, I like that name. Ten months in a row. Yeah, that, is, support, man. that is awesome. Sweet. Yes. Sweet deal. Uh, uh, uh. Cool. Uh, what, uh, what should I hit the skull with again? Uh, skull? Oh, uh, we haven't gotten it out yet. Oh, so okay. any teeth, oh, yeah, too, white, you. whatever, you want to hit with a sepia. All right. So this is where someone had asked about darker brown um, washes. You want to reserve your white or your light brown wash or your sepia wash f with your um, whites or like skulls or teeth or whatever. Oh, that's cool. So how cool is that? Right? That's awesome. It's and it's so easy. It's, it's so, so easy. It's so easy. What was that? What's that icon? A uh, face palm. <laughs> <laughs> One person sucking dump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. that's the story of my life. <laughs> Yay. Yay. It's got a very uh, very soy sauce vibe to it. Yeah. It's very soy saucy. Yeah. It doesn't taste like soy sauce, though. <laughs> What's it taste like? Uh, the sewer, like where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what it tastes like. <laughs> oh, man, my guy's cool. I'm going to start moving ahead while you guys, again. <laughs> 
And I'm gonna make an orange, and I'm gonna start doing some rust effects. Ooh! It's a little I fancy, play. but... Alright, so, well... Well, I just have to dry, huh? So, yeah, you gotta let it dry. I'm um, just doing some wet blending. Liar. Oh, it's all greasy. All greasy. Medium. Okay, I forgot to do metal. So, so you can make a nice orange with yellow and uh, red. Oh man, this is weird. So, uh, uh, should I have like, cleaned this off before I went? No, it doesn't matter. So just what I'm supposed to. Oh no, the whole blade. Okay. You want to? No, you don't want to douse okay. it. Dump it. Dump and suck. Dump and suck. <laughs> I thought it was a suck and dump. That's right. Me now. That's the, <laughs> it, 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 you're right. It's the suck. Wait, it's the dump. Yeah, dump and suck. That's this kid it. says, uh, weapons are good with washes also. Yes, I hit my oh, weapon. Oh, oh my god, yes. Go. Absolutely. You see my gun? Now, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm just splotching on this, this rusty color, and it adds instant rust. Like, look at that. Look. So, awesome. look, oh, yeah. See how I'm getting rust? A rust effect? And this stuff, like, orcs are notorious for not cleaning a damn thing. <laughs> nice. At all, ever. So their stuff is going to be just rusty to high hell. <laughs> so see how I did that? You can try that now if you want. Sure. So um, all you do is you want to get a brush that's kind of flayed out. So when your brushes die, okay. they don't get buried. They become your stiple brush. Okay. The technical term is stipling. Um, so go ahead and mix a color. It's just literally red and yellow together. Okay. Um, so mix a color kind of like this. All right. And then I'll give you this brush, because this is a perfect brush for it. Okay. And basically, you mix them together, and then you just want to like stab the mini in certain areas, kind of letting the bristles flay out the paint, Okay. so that it so kind of resembles more rust. Direct. Do, you yeah. ever, do, you, do you ever do anything with like gravity? Like, like Oh, all spray? the time. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if it's starting to run a lot or whatever. So Yours is like, looking great. I think you I need to hit... Sop up some of the... No, no. I think you need to actually apply more to your undercuts. To, okay. like, the, the armpits, the under areas. Okay, so for the, like the green and stuff? Correct. For the, okay. No, I, the, the brown, like, under this oh, arm. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, like, under you want to... Yeah, and maybe yeah, no, you your 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 green is good. Um, and a lot of the times you have to kind of wait until things dry to okay. really get a good gander at it. Gotcha. Um, but why don't you now move to the uh, rust effects? Okay. So you can go ahead and do that now. To clean this yours yours is looking really good. Yeah, you're both at about the same Thank same you. point. Yeah. It went from cool to really good. Wow. How many steps between really good and epic? Oh god, epic! <laughs> Epic's like. I earned Epic after like 30 years, and then I had to like paint with blocks on my head and paint blindfolded, <laughs> paint, paint with my toes being broken. Um, with your toes. With, and then with my t broken toes. <laughs> <laughs> it was really bad. Oh, okay, I miss him. I miss him. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try to start painting this gold. Oh, wow, I miss this part here. Yeah, and you might see spots you miss, whatever. Gosh. Go ahead and hit them. I'm gonna borrow this, use this as this. So these army painter brushes, I will say, are, are really, they're, they're some of my favorite brushes. Um, I, I like the way they hold points, and sometimes when they get a little older, they kind of hook. Got it. And I like the hook. I'm a big fan of the hook. Like the Robin Williams movie with Rufio. <laughs> that I really like. Rufio. Rufio. <laughs> okay, uh, so rust, which is just rust. You want to create a color like this, okay. and it's just red and yellow in your palette okay, mixed so together. So my palette's looking so it's find an open spot. Yeah, just okay. find an open spot or put it right on top of paint that you already got. Uh, Rhyming. Yep, that's what I do. And then, let's see. If I keep going, I'm going to just, it's all going to be orange, so I'm going to stop. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah, you might not want to. It's a lot. You know, you know. Well, I mean, hey, they, they're really notoriously bad at keeping their crap together. So. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> Let me see. Let me see closer. No, that's looking great. Absolutely. And then we're going to hit it with another wash. Oh, can you do yeah. me a big favor? Sure. Can you um, get me Reichlin Flesh Shade? Same place. Shade Boy? <laughs> yeah, Shade Boy. <laughs> get me my shades. <laughs> 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 
How good is that looking? And we're still gonna hit it with more stuff. I'm so excited. No, it's, you're really doing well. Oh, perfecto. Okay, so this is the final thing. When Wherever we've done our rust, we're gonna wash this over it. Cool. But your rust has to dry first. Okay. So we're kind of at this stage where we kind of need to let things dry. So did you make two shades of rust? Like the orange and the more reddish? Oh, did he do that? I don't know. Um, I so only did one. There are, yeah. So I'll, be, I'll put some brown in there and make it rust, more so, rusty. Or? No, that's good. Because we're going to cover saying, it with something. Like it was adding red. Add a like, touch more so red. So I added the red, okay. reddish Just orange move to some that red tube. In there. And then yeah, I put it in a couple more. places. Put it in the slots of the gun here. Mm -hmm. And then that little ridge here. Oh, I did it, yeah, down the center of the face, the that's top a little of the better. skull. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And then just and then stab like, it on. And then I put a little more red in like it. And small I little kind of like small little stabs. Like, I'll demonstrate this, uh, okay. So, here. Oh, so, so a lot of the time, you off. want it kind of dry. So, so take time. a bunch off. That's our camera. Oh, okay. This is the camera. So take a bunch off. Winter Depths has a question. And then, yep. How do you suggest doing eyes on humanoid figures? Mine keep looking wide-eyed surprised. See how I'm kind of stabbing? See that? Mm-hmm. Just like that. Okay. Yep. Uh, okay, so what do we got? It was, uh, whoop, uh, doing eyes on humanoid figures, because there's, look, uh, very surprised. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of the standard. Um, one of the ways you can make expressions easily is don't aim for the center of the eye. Aim for, like, the upper right corner of the eye, and then they'll look like they're kind of looking away, or they'll look, like, whatever, because some of the black from the, the eyeball will be kind of not even in the eye. So now you've got an expression, right? So a lot of the times people just aim directly in. I would aim up and to the right or up and to the left. Um, and that really helps a lot. Good question. Yeah. But I, I kind of do like the fact that they're all super scared. Like every single mini that you ever painted is terrified. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good idea. Um, also, so again, um, with the army painter brushes, they have this brush called the Psycho, and I it's perfect for eyes because it's okay. literally like three hairs. Oh man! And if you dot that in, it, it they won't look surprised. They'll look, you know, like kind of cracked out. All right. But so you have surprise or cracked out. How's that? But let me see. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. Solid. You're you're good. So now we'll let them dry a little bit. Should it always dry naturally? Should you have a fan? Do you have a um, fan? Yeah, so actually a hair dryer. Um, if you have a hair dryer, well, that yeah, is yeah. the absolute ideal situation. Um, but you don't want to hair dry close because it'll yeah. blow the paint everywhere. Mm -hmm. You kind of want to do it from like, kind of like mm -hmm. that, you know. Um, but a hair dryer is really good for that. Um, fan, same thing. <laughs> um, uh, I'm trying to think. Um, but yeah, so now we watch paint dry. I'm so happy with the skull. Oh, the skull looks Whoa. amazing. It's like a little rust like went down the crack into its eye socket. Yep. Nope. No, that is really, really cool. Yay, gravity does a better job. <laughs> gravity, <laughs> yeah, me. no, that's what it is. That's, that's so cool. That's the best thing. Um, so. about 15 to 25 minutes left. Okay, okay. so let's. Um, when you, when you feel like things are mostly dry in mm -hmm. certain areas, mm -hmm. hit your metals with this red um, very lightly. This okay. red is kind of old, so it's really thick. So okay. you might actually need to even add some water to it. Okay. Um, so go ahead and hit some of your rough spots with that. And definitely add some water. Uh, I'm going to steal your brush. Go for it. Here. Oh, no. Nope, nope, you're good. So I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, oh, now only to areas that you feel like are dry. Okay. So you're stabbing the red on the. So is, is this blood or is, is this uh, what is this? So uh, a, oh, this is rust. Oh, just rust. So anytime you've you've stabbed your rust on, mm -hmm. wherever you've stabbed your rust on, you paint it over with the red wash. Gotcha. And that really creates this rusty, just really unkept. That's the wash right there. Uh, this is the wash. Yeah, we'll share it. Mm -hmm. So, so you add a. It's, yeah, if it's wet, it's oh now you're gooping it on. No, you wanna you really wanna like slamming. Like I've covered the area. Okay. You wanna kinda cover the area. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So like all of it. So just all the metal or just all the rusty bits? Um all the metal. Okay. I I do all the metal. This is a yeah. suck and dump again or no? This is a suck and dump. Alright. Absolutely. And that's on your red. I mean on your metal. Okay. It's on your metals. Okay. Yep. 
And we're only rushing a little bit just because, you know, for you guys and everybody out there. But um, honestly, when you're doing a wash, you want to throw your wash on and then you really want to um, let it dry right before you're doing any other coats. But for sake of, you know, the viewers and everybody, we're kind of hustling it up a little bit. That's fine. So see, see how it kind of, it, it will really bring out that rusty effect. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, obviously we don't have time today for it, but then you'll go in with your original metal and start highlighting the edges of stuff. Okay. And it just, oh my God, it looks amazing. It's, this is really, really cool. So the red wash is kind of like my thing. I use red wash for skin, I use it, use it for everything. I've used small heat guns because I have them around. Yeah, totally. A heat gun will work, a uh, hair dryer, um, anything like that. Uh, infrared hair dryer, yeah, uh, I think, uh, mm, you know what? Fancy. I don't know if it's, I don't know the science behind it. It may, you may need the airflow, I'm not sure. But you can try it, it's definitely not gonna hurt anything. So how's that working for you guys? You liking awesome. it? Awesome. Yes. You digging it? Yeah. yeah. Let me see. Oh, absolutely. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> well, the rest is looking kind of brown. Is that just Let me because see. I didn't put enough red or is that... Let me look. Kind of red or something or... No, that's normal. And then here's the cool part. When it's in its stage of almost drying, check it out. You can go in with your dry brush and go like this. Now look, now look oh, what nice. I'm doing. So I don't know if you can see on this camera, Hold on. but you think you can maybe. So when you're, yeah. So when you're, um, when you're, um, your wash is sort of drying for your rust, you can go in with a dry brush and sort of cut it away, like cut, almost push it off the mini. Mm. And now you're creating real rust effects. That, like, I don't know if you can see that. See, now that looks like rust, so yeah. check that out. Oh, wow. Right? So see how I'm just stabbing away some of the paint? Mm -hmm. um, and that's... Nice. So like see... If the, if the actually sliced at something, it would, the rust would not... Exactly. So see that blade? Yes. Now you've got rust. So you can go ahead and try that technique. Not. Do you just always want your brush to be dry? And you can, yeah, go ahead and zoom in on that, because that's really, that's really cool. In fact, I didn't even do that with my own mini. <laughs> I just thought, oh, that's a good technique. We should do that. Yep, and that's just, super realistic, Russ. So much better on the on the, on the, <laughs> on the camera. The camera. Yeah. Well, you have good lighting. It's Another good thing. Saturation. Oh, big important thing for anybody starting out. Yes. You want two two overhead lights if you can afford it. Um, one creates shadow, and you want two, and they should be directly over whatever you're working with. The Same. more lighting, the easier your painting will go. Same temperature, right? Yeah. So same same uh, bulb if you can. Yep. We're talking about if you can prop the figure a certain way, you can do oh, a wow, block glop, a blob glop on the <laughs> blades by using a blood wash. Totally, and I actually have blood with me. Oh, blood. Um, I don't think we'll have time to go through it, but I have blood, not like real blood, <laughs> but. Oh, wow, right here. Yeah. Oh, I see. That's like the. It almost and looks like like the clear icing kind of thing. Kind like. of, yeah. It's really cool. So what am I doing now? So now, let, wow, yours looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and hit your brown with okay. another load of uh, brown wash. All right. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is great. Somebody kick that, please. It's <laughs> <laughs> fantastic, but we're gonna need to fix a couple things. <laughs> Yours looks really good, um, except it's bad everywhere. This <laughs> 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 is Yours looks great, except it's, it's horrible right? pretty much everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, but you shame your ancestors. <laughs> yes, but everyone in your family who's dead is crying wherever they ended up. It's pretty much the worst thing I've ever seen. Yes. But for you? But for you, it's amazing. Is this, is this the brown one? That is your brown, oh, yep. Mm -hmm. 
And actually, you can even go in and use the black wash uh, on your brown too, yeah. Oh. If you want a little even more contrast. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you can go ahead. Sure. Yeah. This will add a lot of contrast, okay. which is probably what you're wanting. <laughs> I told you, just point where. Tell me where, and then I'll put it there. Art. No, I just said, you be comfortable. Just pick one spot, not six of them. He's like painting like... He, like Everywhere. <laughs> Don't box me in, Art. That's your name, Art. Trying to express myself. So Cactus Stir Fry trying, apparently always has real space. blood with him. <laughs> I do, too, but usually it's in my body. Oh boy, look at this. Oh I, would, I mean, sometimes it's not in my body. It really just depends on the... I'll show up there. If we're in pump or the dump stage. Like yeah, it's, 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 sorry. Yeah, if we're in pump or dump. <laughs> Wait, now it's pump. <laughs> suck and dump. Suck the suck and dump. <laughs> the suck and no, no, legit. No. Like oh, the God. suck and dump was born on this what show. What happened? Oh, that's it. That's cool. The suck and dump has been. Being a white person in the wash over. Uh, just yeah, it was like an off white and did the little yellow in it, and then the. The CPO one. So how many, uh, how many, I guess this is sort of a weird question, how many layers do you do you put on? Of wash? Just yeah, well yeah, just of anything I guess. Of anything? Oh, um, so until like you it. feel like it's a strong color. What's the, what's the most you ever Sometimes put? it leaks, yes. <laughs> um, uh, until you feel like it's strong, you know, it's really, let me take a gander at what you're doing. Now did I show you the stabby thing? Wow. I tried it in a couple of spots, like the top of the foot and oh, some perfect. places, but there's some spots where it just wasn't. Well, Try, it yeah, it kind of needs to be like, like, look, see there, there mm -hmm. you can do it. So I see where I'm uh, Yeah, sometimes. Oh, so it's actually removing, not adding? Oh, yeah, no, you're removing. Uh, oh, yeah, you're like. You need stuff backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, okay. Hey, Drupasaurus Rex, thank you for nice. the sub. Hey, oh, thank you for yeah. gifting the sub to uh, Monkey Boy 1280. That was awesome. Welcome to the Okay, check this out. So this is where the magic is. Look at that. Magic. Check that out. Oh, cool. Right? I never pumped in. Or okay. second dumps is, is see that? Yeah, yeah. Now go ahead and try that on the other pad. I am ready. That's the technique. Cool. Yeah. And uh, dry your brush first, because you it, the, the brush needs to be like super dry. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my little dude's turned yeah. out great. I didn't uh, do the second dump on the braces on his arm. Do the second dump on the brace? Yeah. Why not? So I'm noticing now now that it's kind of drying. I don't know what the green is kind of. It's looks, it looking faded in some of the... Correct. And so. you probably want to hit it... We can we can um, actually doctor that green up with okay. Bell Tan Green. Okay. <laughs> so you can go ahead and rewash your greens with this. Right. And it'll brighten the crap out of it. It'll make it look like suck and dump. <laughs> this is the black... Extraordinaire. This is the black wash. Uh, yeah, on your brown. Yeah, do the black wash on the brown. Oh, what? Oh, hey, hey, thanks for joining the Discord, oh, Pingu. Yeah, you, you, always, you can always go back and do that. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> mm, okay. You can tell um, that Brian's been doing this for a long time. He's a professional. He always goes right back to the next thing. Like... <laughs> Oh. oh my god, no, Geek and Sundry really, like, bred that into me. They, <laughs> they, um, yeah, they... I'm gonna dare go hang out with them for, like, a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, camera guy's a little salty with uh, Danny over here, who can't seem to... He paints in circles, but not, like, like, like literally in circles. Mm. <laughs> it's like a scavenger, scavenger hunt over here. Yeah, <laughs> just to find where he's going. <laughs> scavenger hunt with mon G yeah, because monkeys are the only things that scavenger hunt. Apparently, that's what I imagine myself looking like. Right. Yeah. So that other green really creates this rich green color that now the okay, fade. Um, okay. So now the green. You said green. Yeah. That's over there. So do you think most people are too timid or they're too... Uh... Most people are actually too timid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. It, it's so funny. I'm always it's warning funny. people to thin their paints, but most people are just too timid. Yeah. See, you're learning, you've learned in like, what, a half an hour that y you went from being really timid to now you're, you're getting it. Well, time so with, does that, you know. With your green, <laughs> go ahead and use this. 
This will really enrich the color of your greens. And this is a this is a color. this is a lighter green wash. Wash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So much. This is my first mini. Yeah, and it's looking great. I mean, you, you should be really proud of yourself. You, both about. of you guys have done work that far exceeds your your amount of time um, doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, I started at zero, so that's I love it. Yeah. Really ah, good. monkey boy is Pingu. Oh, nice. Yay! All right. All oh, right. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Yeah, boy. Oh, wow. oh yeah. Really and then go ahead and you can hit the um, brown again with a black wash to really bring out a little bit more contrast. Okay. Where was that? So black wash is right here. Go ahead and just steal from me. Okay. And you're adding just a you little follow. bit more contrast. Okay. You follow. Sitting. Ah, you thank you for the follow, follow. BF10987. Uh, crap, what was I hitting? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on? Uh, oh, the brown. Brown. Hit the brown. Okay. Where am I? Who am I? <laughs> what, wait, what are we doing again? <laughs> it was funny, that, that yellow, now it's just like dirty white. That's pretty cool. It, exactly. I thought it was... Actually, Ten minutes. Ten thank minutes, you, you get it. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Now, the crazy part is I have painted things 100% exclusively with washes before. Really? Yes. Does that, how, how much time does that add to a paint? Um, to do nothing but washes, you have to be really good at washes and it does take a while, but the effect that you've got when it's done is just incredible. It's well worth it. Better than this? Just kidding. <laughs> Not better than yours. Oh, okay. But close. I was going to say. <laughs> close. Very, very hard close. Hard sell, Brian. Hard that, is sell. A, that is a hard sell, yeah. But no, um, so I usually go in with my black wash at the very end, and um, uh, what was I going to say? Um, and that really adds some extra contrast to everything. So, oh, you got another one. Crisius. Hey! Nice. Crisius, thank you for the, thank thank you you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Thanks for joining us here. Uh, Monkey Boy says, hey Danny, I'm on Team Willow, and I was wondering where the Willow emotes are at in Discord. Uh, we'll still have to uh, go and uh, commission those. Um, but yeah, thank you for the interest. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make it happen, can we? Oh my god, the price of this is horrible. What's that? What's that? Like when we actually get partner, we'll be able to put... Uh oh. That's true. Heart. We oh, lost oh, one of our lights. You stepped on it. You stepped on it. No, I heard it. I heard it too. Yep, you stepped on the light and it died. Ooh. Art. Ooh. Art's, Art's unplugging things. <laughs> you just no. started to unplug stuff. Like, shut it down. Art's breaking down. Shut right it now. down. <laughs> oh, there we go. Jess is talking about your X Wing in all of Oh my god. Yes. He's like weathered like it was just force lifted out of the Dagobah swamp. Oh, nice. wow. Yeah, so, awesome. so Jest, um, I was just talking about how I um, was sometimes use only washes. That X-Wing was 100% not a lick of paint. It was all done in washes. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, so that effect that you're getting, that really like dirty, weathered, old look, that is exactly what you can do when you use nothing but washes. That's um, so cool. And it's always over white. I, I do my, my only my wash jobs Ooh. only over uh, white primer. But yeah, totally. That X wing is exactly. It's so funny that you found that, and we were talking about it. That's cool. Got a. And honestly, for beginners, you don't even need to go beyond this step. These two steps: base coat and wash, and you can be done. Hmm. Just you don't. You, you know, but the highlight is really where you get the most pop. Is that? Oh Too my much. god, yeah. No, that's perfect. <laughs> that is perfect. Now go ahead and go over the black. See all all the cracks mm -hmm. in the gun? Yeah. Do black. Okay. Because you're going to get this beautiful contrast. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. So check out mine. Mine is mine's pretty much done. Dude, I'm chilling amazing. with it. That's very cool. Right? Like Isn't it are... cool? My eyes are just yeah. dark. Right? Did you paint the eyes? I did. I painted them white and then just the so wash. <laughs> I like to still see it. He's carrying a crate of bullets. I don't know if you guys can see the, like, the detail. I know this, this camera's kind of hunting for focus, but like the eyes are white, and these are like the little 
The little beady eyes. The beady eyes and teeth. Are yeah, all I actually might light. go in there and make them red. So let me oh. see. I'm gonna go fancy and I'm gonna I'm gonna do red eyes. That's incredible. Yeah. How would I do? I'm gonna. You see that, Danny? You see that? Yeah. And the teeth. That's, that's just that's just white and then the wash. But it's okay. All right. It's, it's I'm now happy one. with the second okay, thing now that things are drying. I'm actually pretty that. happy with this this helmet, the, this face mask thing, because I wanted it to look like it came out of my Alright, there's red eyes. Did. Oh, that's so sick. Yeah. So you can do that. Just use your do your do eyes for you. Just use a brush like this. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. We'll your your detail brush. Absolutely. So this is the yeah. black, right? Right here? Uh no, that's brown. You need black? Black wash. Uh, where was it? Oh, it's right here. Okay, thank yep. you. I should, mm -hmm. I'm, leaving, I'm leaving these open, so I should you be closing these washes. You can go ahead and use this on your green. Okay. Use bale tan on your green. Sure. All right. That's another really good shade that will enrich the color of your um, stuff. Cool. And then let me, I'm going to put like a really bright. How much time do you have, Art? Five minutes. All right. All right. Now it's time to get serious. <laughs> See, as you can tell, it's an intro painting is so fun that we're supposed to be showing stuff to you, but we get lost in these. The, the we get lost in it so quickly. <laughs> I'm gonna paint a lightning bolt over the face. I'm gonna put. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna ruin the whole thing. I'm totally gonna keep messing with this guy tonight. I'm very excited. Oh yeah. Okay, so over the rest, just black. Over the rest? Black. Yeah, in the slots. In, in the, the slots. oh yeah, like in all those oh, little gotcha. nooks and crannies. Yeah, there you go. There's just little seedy eyes. Oh, uh, look at damn muscles. That's so dope. See how they come out with that wash? Really it really, you know. Now, the only downside to painting with a lot of washes um, is things will look really dark, and that's what your next level is, is mm. your highlighting, mm. right? That's, you know, we don't have time today, but that's where you really bring things up. Orc Bowie, go for it. Nice. <laughs> that Hello Kitty Pez is amazing. Okay, so the Hello Kitty um, on my website, that is a full custom. Um, it was actually a gift from one guy to his girlfriend. <laughs> and I uh, taught him um, how to sculpt it from, so it went from a normal Hello Kitty Pez dispenser to zombie apocalypse Hello Kitty Pez dispenser with a bullet through its head <laughs> oh. and covered in like dirt and mud and yeah, that was really fun to make. Okay, I think I messed up my, I messed up my blade. You said go over, see. you said just do the gun and I did the blade on accident. Oh no, you don't want it on the blade. Okay, so. So, okay, so here's a good opportunity, mm -hmm. so dry your, dry your brush. Okay. Oh. And then do this and that'll add some. Like stab it. Okay. See now, now you actually made it even better. See, no, yeah. you made it better. Eh, you were hovering over me. <laughs> <laughs> so, just like that. Okay. Oh, dude, the gun! Oh my god, the gun looks the great, better, huh? right? Yeah. How much better does that look? Way better. So that. sick. Yeah. No, this guy's looking great. Absolutely. Yeah. You guys are all doing good. Yeah. That's fine. My little guy is finally starting to dry. He's looking good. He's looking gross. Exactly <laughs> what I wanted. Good and gross. Okay. That's I'm the gonna, goal. Where's the, the big brush? Uh, oh, here. I stole it from you. Oh, right, you did? Yep. So I'm I tend to do that. I get like really into stuff. And, All right. Yeah. We're going to wrap up? Got to wrap it up. Gonna wrap we'll it show, up. We'll <laughs> Just says you're gonna make me think I can do this. Go do you it. Can do you it. can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me. Seriously? I mean, if Kenny can do if it, if I can do it. <laughs> yeah, like seriously. <laughs> Come I'm on now. Horrible at that. Yeah. Painting, drawing. This makes me feel so good. Yay! Well, don't don't go anywhere yet because we're uh -huh. still gonna try Please to raid somebody. So we want to pay all the love you guys have been giving us forward and help out uh, another streamer. So where can people find out about you? Let's go. Oh, yeah. Give me info again. I'll drop it in the chat. Yes. But feel free to describe. You're talking about me? Yeah, yep. man. Oh, okay. Thank you for the follow. Terminologic. Nice. Thank you for the follow. Um, so anyway, um, we're we're about done for today. That's pretty much all we've got time for. So all we did today, as a recap, is we did uh, prime. We stuck it on a top, we base coated it, and then we hit it with a wash. Red, red eye. So that's what we did. Um, I'm Brian Merlonghi. Um, you can find me on Geek and Sundry's Painters Guild um, on that show. Uh, I also have my, I'm a professional miniature painter. I've been that way for about 20 years. 
And uh, I'm Studio Merlongi is my website. Um, it's where all my work goes. And uh, yeah, just please add me on Facebook. Uh, Facebook's where I'm most active. Um, it's my first and last name. Just search for me. Um, find me on Instagram, Twitter, doesn't matter. Um, if you have any painting questions whatsoever, please message me. I will be happy to answer your questions. He's amazing. And so, oh, no, I'm not that. It is what it is. <laughs> but, but Perception Studios has been amazing. Thank hey. you so much for having me. Um, Thanks for coming, I'd love to man. come back hey. and teach oh. some more. So. Thanks, Jukasaurus Rex, for uh, gifting that sub to nice. uh, Terminologic. Nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is awesome. But yeah, find me, add me. And uh, check out Geek and Sundry's Painters Guild, and yeah. Yay! That's all well, I thanks for coming. Thanks yeah, for sharing with us. Thanks for teaching Absolutely. us how to do the things, and thanks for Absolutely. leading us through uh, Cutthroat Kingdom. So, um, and, yeah, uh, for sure. Um, so, Ryan, you want to show the minis? Or are you? Uh, <laughs> huh? Are oh, you already there? Me and Aaron are already Oh, you're already there. Sorry. Oh. Oh, so, oh right time. Ooh. Thank you. We're going to find somebody to raid. Because that's right. what we do. Right. Stay right, here. Right, right. Yeah, don't go nowhere. Stay here. Thank uh, you for staying with us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're going to be back. Come in. Please do. Yeah. Oh, it's inside. It is. Yeah, yeah. get in I'll just turn one of these off. Uh -oh. Come in, Ryan. <laughs> do your best, Ryan. I can come down here. Yes. Hello, hello. Perfect. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. You're good. And I'm going to clean up. I think I'm already out. After these monsters. <laughs> I love these tiny little bottles. Not, I can't They're adorable. Myself. Okay, They're so um, you have to duck down between people. Like Let me hear. We're gonna be back on Sunday with Cinephilia and at 6:30 p.m. and with okay. quarter to one at 8 p.m. ish. Uh, all over times it ishes, just because. <laughs> You guys know us. Because you know us. We're late. Uh, what else is going on? <laughs> and then just so you guys know, all of next week, aside from Sunday, we're not gonna have a he streaming our regular shows because uh, we're gonna be at CES. Um, so we might be streaming from CES if we can get it to work. Just like live streaming from CES if you guys want to come hang out with us. Uh, we're going to, this is like our one like convention that's more more non-work related, it's just nerd, nerd related. We're just going because we wanted to. Uh, so Danny, Ryan and I are going to be there. Uh, so yeah, join us for that. Um, and then yeah, join the Discord at, yes. at discord.rollforhotness.com so you guys can keep up with what we're doing. And thank you so much for your donations today. Yes, uh, We've nice. had to buy new thank equipment, you. so it's really helping us out. Hashtag mm. blame Ryan. Hashtag blame Ryan. <laughs> uh, Ryan's hot falling asleep over there, so we're, yes. we're gonna go home. <laughs> All right, uh, in, the, in the spirit of Minis painting, we'll, we'll pass it forward to another Minis painter. Hey. Yeah. Oh, so that'd be nice. Uh, yeah. Gaming blacksmith. Who oh. I found one late night just because uh, I spent a lot of time on Twitch. <laughs> nice. Do it. Yeah. Blaggy Blue. <laughs> so, let us know if you like this, uh, us doing studio days. We love this. This really gives us a chance to really kind of push our craft and, and mm -hmm. kind of do more. So, if you guys like this, it's all because of you. Your donations and your all your support has really helped us kind of really push this channel mm -hmm. along. And, you know, we've gone, we've come really far to get guys like this on it on, on our show. It's, it's, it's a it's a step up, you know. So thank you guys so so much for being there with us. No, it's awesome. Yeah, and they've been phenomenal, and and <laughs> I hope I've inspired at least one person to paint. Um, it's changed my life. Yes. So I definitely, you know, start small. I mean, I, I painted terribly for years. So and I'm now I'm a master. So you know, you definitely you just keep doing it. That's my biggest, you know. Yeah. Awesome. Biggest you advice. Start loading the raid. All right. Let's load the raid. Load the raid. With us. Load the raid. Get your emotes ready. If it will send my chat, that would be nice. It doesn't like Danny. Push the button, Danny. I did push the button. I didn't want to push the, my button. the red button, the oh, nuke button, yeah. that nuke button. Push the button. Push the button. There we go. Push the button. All right, we're we're prepping our right now. Get your emotes ready. Uh, tell Emote. them who sent you. Spread all love. Be super nice when you get there. Yes. Uh, we're not dicks, so let's not do that. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we like to spread the love. Uh, let's do it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>